Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Hopefully, I tried to get the settings all dialed in, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it sounds good. And um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, well, we haven't had a stream in a couple months, so this feels kind of weird. Uh, I just had two shots of espresso, so hopefully I'm all keyed up, uh, keyed up for the show. And uh, yeah. So, uh, like I said, in well, I mean, it says it right in the title of the stream there. We're doing Super Nintendo tonight, and it's really mostly just because I just feel like we don't um, we don't really ever do uh, Super Nintendo. Oh yeah, the the hold on, let me fix that. Sorry, it's because the um, oh wow, that looks weird. Um, yeah, let's fix that real fast. What is that? Because this is on. Ah, there we go. Uh, sorry about that. Now it's all fixed. Um, that's pretty funny. Uh, and yeah, that other thing you were hearing was just because uh, the game was already running in teaser mode, so you could hear that. So, um, see, so I got my Kool-Aid going here, so. Um, what did I want to say before? I got I had some stuff I wanted to say before we got started, but. Um, uh, so we're doing Super Nintendo. I did have some games listed uh, down in the uh, video description for the three people who read it. I changed one of them out uh, because, and I can't remember if I said anything about this already or not. Hmm. Oh, I said something. So the new episode of Flashback is up, but only if you're a patron. Uh, if not, you have to wait a few more days. And I think I said something there. But what I was saying in that episode is that this coming Monday, which is July 8th, is the um, is the sixth anniversary of, of Classic Gaming Quarterly as a YouTube channel. Uh, this year is actually the 10th anniversary of Classic Gaming Quarterly, like, as a website. But, um, you know, nobody uh, nobody really read my website, so I don't know if that really counts for anything. But, uh, so I thought what I wanted to do, like, every year the anniversary comes and goes, and I f just forget about it. And uh, this, this is the first year that I actually remembered before the anniversary happened. And, um... So what I wanted to do was have like an anniversary stream on Monday night. And uh, why is it hiding? I don't know. Um, sorry, Mujanga, it hid, it hid your comment. I don't know. It, now the thing's being all aggro about hiding people's comments, even though they're saying perfectly fine things. Anyway, so I wanted to do an anniversary stream on Monday night, and I just thought it would be cool if the games that we played were some of the early games that I covered on my show back when nobody watched my show. So um, one of the games we were going to play tonight, I'm going to wait, and we're going to play it uh, next Monday. So that's kind of all I had to say about that there. Uh, Drubo, what's up, man? Uh, Drubo is in uh, Australia, if I'm not mistaken. So that's why he says good morning. So uh, it's good to see it's good to see a lot of familiar people in here. I appreciate you guys showing up. Uh, I just wanted to um, scroll up a little bit. Uh, Reed's buds here. Hopefully, did you get your postcard, Reed's buds? Speaking of postcards, this is something else I said in the in the next flashback. I'm just I'm a little bit behind on sending out postcards. So if you sent me a postcard sometime in May or June. I've either replied to it and not put it in the mail, or I just need to sit down and write out a reply and put it in the mail. So that that will happen uh, very soon. Uh, oh, three second reviews is here. That's cool. What's up, man? Um, and then somebody else, uh, where's I like Ann Berlin? Uh, Chris, everyone's hoping that dog you babysat makes a cameo. So that wasn't actually babysitting that dog. So that's a that dog belongs to like a lady who has an office next door to my office. And... Um, so, I mean, I hang out with that dog on a daily basis, but I am actually going to be dog sitting that dog next month and um, she'll be staying at my house for a few days. So maybe we'll do a live stream. She's the she's a very adorable dog. I don't have a, the only pets I have right now are my chickens, So I kind of miss having, you know, I'm usually more of a cat person, but I like dogs, too. So um, she's pretty adorable. Um, so, yeah. Oh, uh, a couple other things. Uh, so I don't I know that, um, you know. Statistically speaking, probably nobody tuning into the stream uh, right now uh, lives in my area, so this probably doesn't apply to you anyway. But uh, if you follow the show on Twitter or on Instagram, uh, you know I, I posted on there that I had to take a new uh, headshot, and I couldn't say why, but I was trying to couch people's expectations by saying like it's really not uh, anything that cool. 
And um, is that why? Is there a... I don't know what it is. I feel like there's a delay between the video and the audio, but nobody's complaining. So um, what was I saying? Yeah, the headshot. So I just... So there's, I'm going to two conventions this year, which is cool because I've never... Like as the host of Classic Gaming Quarterly, I've never gone to a convention uh, before. And I got invited to two. One of them I'm not allowed to talk about yet. But uh, the other one now I can say is just the SAC Gamers Expo, which uh, I guess I'm only saying like it's just the SAC Gamers Expo because it's a smaller convention because it's just here in Sacramento. So uh, but I know at least there's one guy that watches my show who's just over in Winters, which is just the next town that way. So uh, maybe I'll get to meet him uh, or whatever. But um, but yeah, anyone that lives in the area, uh, you know, you should come out to the expo. I feel like probably only about 10 people are going to be there who, you know, know who I am just because it's Sacramento area. So, um, but, uh, at that one, I'll have a booth. Well, I'm going to have a booth at both expos. The other one I can't say yet, but, uh, the other one I have to fly to, so I can't really, uh, bring stuff. I mean, I'll, I'm going to bring like stuff to sell. Like I'll, I'm going to have a, uh, I'm going to have like some stickers and magnets and stuff that I'm going to bring. Um, and I'm, I'm going to do another run of those t-shirts, which I guess I'll talk about more in a second, but I'm saying other than that, it's just going to be me be sitting there in a, in a booth meeting people. And if you want to buy some CGQ promo stuff, you can, or I'm going to bring some, um, uh, postcards. I'm going to make some special postcards that, with a different back just so I have something to sign for anybody who wants it. And I'm not going to charge for those obviously, but, um, uh, other than that, I can't really bring anything, but the one that's here in SAC, because I'm driving to it, I could actually like bring stuff. So I was thinking that, you know, I might bring like my Commodore 1702 monitor and a Nintendo with two controllers and maybe my EverDrive or, or just a, a hand, a handful of games. Cause I just thought it would be cool if uh, anybody who's like a friend, uh, a fan of the show rather wants to just come hang out and we could play two player games together uh, or something. Cause maybe if you're a fan of the show, um, maybe you get a kick out of playing a two-player game with me or something. I don't really know. Maybe, maybe that's a stupid idea. I don't know. I just wanted to try to have something set up at the booth that was a little bit cooler than just me trying to sell you a sticker or something. So, um, so yeah. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So about the T-shirts. Uh, every once in a while, somebody asks about the T-shirts. Uh, you know, I have to I have to have those uh, made ahead of time because I have them actually uh, silk screened which is the better way to make a t-shirt, like a higher quality print. And so I've been sold out of them for a long time because I have to front kind of a lot of money for that. Um, but uh, since I'm going to be going to these conventions, I'm going to go ahead and do another run of t-shirts. So at, at some point in the very near future, I'm basically going to make like pre-orders available because I'm going to make a certain number of like every single size. But if people order them before I place the order, then you can be guaranteed that you'll get a shirt uh, in your size. And if you don't, you know, if you don't want a shirt, that's fine. I'm not trying to bilk you guys for money. I just want to make sure that people who want stuff like that uh, can get it. And then the last thing I was going to say about that, that I just thought was kind of funny was uh, somebody sent me either a tweet or a, I don't know if it was a tweet or, or if it was an Instagram or maybe it was even on YouTube. And somebody asked, uh, where could they get one of those hats talking about this hat? And it's funny. I, I didn't, I should have, if I had thought ahead, I should have bought like 50 of these or something, uh, from, uh, UC Davis before they quit selling them. And they could have been, you know, I could have sold those as like the official CGQ hat, but, uh, uh, that's probably a stupid idea, but it just made me chuckle thinking about it. So, um, I think that's all of the, uh, housekeeping, uh, I have, I see, I got a $5 contribution from Pete. Uh, thanks, man. And I saw up ahead. I, I saw what you said. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the chat, but I was trying to talk too. So, uh, I'm going to sc scroll back up, but I, I saw your, your posts. Um, Pete, I'm glad you, um, I'm glad you liked the show. So, uh, and then I'll just scroll down here a little bit. I saw that Shane said he's coming to go to P. Um, I always get it. I always mess it up. It's P R G E or P G R E. It's P R G E. Uh, so that's cool. I've been to P R G E, I think twice. Uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, there's a lot of uh, people in Portland who are into retro gaming. It's kind of a hipster town, so uh, so it's a pretty big show. Uh, Ryan says he'd like to see me come to too many games sometime. Uh, I mean, I would I would totally uh, I would totally go. It, it was weird that um, I uh, I've always been kind of not not salty about it, but I've always been kind of curious. Like, how come I never get invited to like 
retro gaming expos? Like, is my channel not like well known enough, or is it that all these guys are the ones that are approaching the cons asking to go? Uh, which I didn't want to do. I just, you know, for whatever reason. And then within the span of one week, I got emails from two different people trying, you know, inviting me to come to the con as a guest. So that was kind of funny. But um, um, Pat Wood Wood Abbey uh, says you just sent a postcard. So I haven't been to the uh, post office in a few days. So um, uh, if it's there, I will get it, and I will be speedier about uh, replying to um, people's postcards. You know, I was. Um, I was on vacation and that kind of just screwed things up. You know, I went on vacation for two weeks and then I came back and I just, it messed up my sleep schedule and it just took me a while to kind of get back into the groove. Uh, we got a guy named Nev who he wants to know when the next video is coming out. Uh, I can't really say for sure. And then he says, also, can you do the launch of the PS2 or Xbox? Uh, I want to do both of those definitely, especially uh, the Xbox. I mean, I had a PS2 on launch day. Uh, and that would be kind of a cool story, not my personal story, but just the story of the PS2. But I also think just telling the story of the development and release of the Xbox, I think would be a really cool story. So I definitely want to do those maybe next year. Um, I'm working as most people know on the Dreamcast launch right now. And then, uh, the next one is probably going to be the launch of the NES. Uh, I'm not, I'm not super positive about that, but I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do. So, and, um, I think we're pretty much caught up now. So, so yeah, okay. Uh, Game Boy launch. We pretty yeah, you know, I actually started working on the Game Boy launch at one point, and then I just kind of stopped, but I still have whatever I had already written. So, uh, oh, so let the games we have tonight. Oh, first of all, uh, let me say that uh, I have, uh, I'm going to move, well, I don't want to move the camera really. So just believe me that uh, I have my uh, original Super Nintendo set up. Normally I use uh, my Super Nintendo... Um, I don't, So I always called it a Super Nintendo Mini, but now the Super Nintendo Classic Edition or whatever is like the Super Nintendo Mini. So I don't know, are we going to call it the Super Nintendo Junior now, I guess? I don't really know. But uh, I have one of those, and that's what I normally use to record footage for the show because the video is a little bit sharper. But... Um, I don't have any explanation for why, but I just felt like hooking up uh, my original, uh, I don't know if it's a launch model or whatever it is, um, Super Nintendo. And uh, so the video might be a little bit blurry. It's still in RGB, but uh, the um, original Super Nintendo has a blurry RGB picture. It's just, uh, you know, how it is. And so the games that I picked out, so I can't show you Rival Turf because Rival Turf is... Uh, in the system right now, and then uh, F zero zero zero. People don't like the way I say zero. Uh, I have that one, and I, as I said in the comments, these are not the games we have to play. These are just the games I pulled out. Um, uh, I got Pilot Wings just because Pilot Wings is kind of a laid back, like chill out game, and maybe that would be good for a live stream. We've played this one before, but I I just brought out Super Turrican because it's a, a personal favorite. And then, as I also said uh, in the description. We're going to play uh, this new, uh, it's Gradius 3, but there's this guy who figured out how to like patch some of the ROMs of the early Super Nintendo games that suffered from really bad slowdown and like virtually add uh, an SA1 chip to it. So it would be as though the Gradius 3 came out uh, on a cartridge that had an SA1 chip in it. And it just, it makes the game run at like full arcade speed and it doesn't um, suffer from slowdown. So, uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool, but we have to play that. Uh, I mean, people are making their own cartridges, but uh, I don't have that. I just have my SD to SNES. And so that's why I'm saying uh, we have, uh, you know, 99% of the Super Nintendo library available to us. But, you know, I would just say that we should stick to games that would be good for doing you know, for just a little while on a live stream, like pick up and play games versus games that uh, you want to kind of like sink your teeth into, like um, Super Metroid or something. Uh, and then, sorry, I wanted to see just a couple things. So Chris Cuthbertson said not the Super NT. So the reason that I don't, uh, I prefer to not stream with things like the Mega SG or the Super NT is the way my setup is, uh, the Super Nintendo is actually hooked up to a CRT monitor, and then the output of the CRT monitor is what gets upscaled and captured, 
and that way I can play the game looking at a CRT monitor. Uh, playing a game in the capture window is not ideal because there can be like input uh, input lag and stuff like that. So um, those are both awesome systems. I love them, but they're 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 cool for capturing gameplay footage, um, but they're not good for streaming because then I have to play them in the capture window. So. Uh, and I see we got our monthly uh, free Google dollar from Taylor. Uh, I appreciate that, sir. And it's good to see you. And um, yeah, all right, we're all caught up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch the uh, view. And then uh, I had to turn down the input of the game audio. So now we're going to have to fix that real fast. And uh, some of these games are louder than others, and so I'm going to have to reach over probably between games and readjust everything. But, um, like, if I'm perfectly quiet... Well, now, it, of course, the game stopped. That, that sounds good to me. If someone thinks that's too quiet, let me know, and I can, um, I can bump it up a little bit. Um, so, originally, I wanted tonight to just play... Um, I just wanted to play Super Nintendo beat-em-ups, but I, I thought I had more. Um, like I was thinking I had final fight that I was going to bring down, but I mean, I don't know. That one just seems like such an obvious one, but I was thinking more like, um, peacekeepers. There were three of these games, right? There was rival turf peacekeepers and one other one that were all sort of part of some like loose trilogy, but, um, I can't remember what the other one was. And this is the only one that I have anyway. And I'm just curious, like what might be in the, um, options mode here. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's angry mode? I wonder if that, I don't know if that makes it like harder or something. We're not going to mess with any of that stuff. So, um, oh, hey, Rob's here. Rob says, nice to catch you streaming today. It wasn't, I hope it wasn't too hot up in the valley. Yeah, we're actually, and by the way, thank you for the 99 cents there. Um, uh, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just climate change or whatever, but we're having like really nice weather lately. Uh, like high 80s, low 90s, which is like 15 degrees cooler, maybe even 20 degrees cooler than it usually is uh, this time of the year. So, uh, which is nice because I ride my bike to work and back uh, this time of year as much as I can. And that's about a 12 mile ride or something like that uh, each way. And if it's over 100, though, I can't ride. So I can only ride one way and then I have to get my wife to pick me up on the way back, which I don't like because it's kind of emasculating. So I have to pick Jack Flack. Uh, I have to pick that. Uh, even though Uzi Nelson sounds pretty cool too, but Jack Flack, what was the name of that movie? Uh, man, I have that movie too. Had Jack, it was Jack Flack, right? Had Dabney Coleman in it? I don't know, somebody will, uh, somebody in the chat will hopefully know what I'm talking about. All right, jump, punch, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, great, it only uses two buttons, I'm all about. Dude. So the gameplay of this game is not kind of super great so far, but I definitely like the music. Does anybody know? I, I mean, I didn't really have a chance to do any um, uh, research ahead of time. Uh, I'm kind of curious who made this game. Because was, this was an arcade game, I believe. Because uh, it was just uh, Jalico released it on the Super Nintendo here. Ah, see, James has got it. Cloak and Dagger, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, now a couple of people got it too. Um, oh yeah, Combat Tribes. I think you're right. That's I think that's the other uh, the other game I was thinking of, which we could um, we can totally load up on the on the uh, SD to SNES uh, that I have. Um, like we can still do all beat 'em ups because uh, you know there's a few good beat 'em ups in the Super Nintendo. I just I brought down the other games I brought down just so that no matter what we would have um, something. Once these guys start punching you, you kind of get, like, locked in. It's kind of like what you can do to the enemies in, like, Streets of Rage. In this game, it's like they can do to you. Because, like, once they start, like, right, like that, you can't get away. Well, I mean, either that or I'm just making excuses for my poor skills of this game. Uh, Mujanga says his TMNT4 beat him up. If you're talking about Turtles in Time, then it's certainly a beat him up as far as I'm concerned. 
I used to have a, a boot, was it a bootleg? It was like a conversion uh, Turtles in Time arcade board. Like, you can take certain other boards. I, I mean, I forgot uh, uh, what arcade system that was on, but there were other games you could you could take and you could, like, replace some of the ROM chips and turn it into a Turtles in Time uh, arcade board, and I had one of those, but um, it wasn't working right, so I got rid of it. Well, the guy gave me a refund, actually. But, uh, which is too bad, because that, that was definitely a, would have been a cool game to have to play on my arcade machine, but um, if you want, like, a real one, that's pretty expensive. I mean, arcade boards in general have just gotten really expensive. Uh, just because of like super guns and whatnot. It's like the same reason that um, um, oh, That does do something oh, you know, Michael Jackson uh, You know like Neo Geo MVS games are expensive now uh, just because um, Because the consoleized MVS is like they used to be so cheap When like you basically had to have an arcade machine to, to play those because it was like a limited audience But now with like super guns and consoleized MVS's there's a much bigger audience for arcade boards, and of course, arcade boards are much harder to find than uh, cartridge games. So, um, you know, I could see like Turtles in Time is, I'm sure, several hundred dollars for a, a legit one, which is too bad. There's there's quite a few arcade cabinets that I definitely uh, arcade cabinets, arcade boards that I definitely wouldn't mind having, but it's just like I, I can't really justify the price. So, um, you know, I've got a. a I've got a few cool games, uh, arcade PCB games, and then I've got um, my one-slot Neo Geo board so I can play all my Neo Geo games in my arcade machine. And uh, other than that, like, I don't really actively look for uh, new arcade boards on eBay just because it's, it's more than I want to spend. You know, and usually I don't, I don't really buy retro games that much anymore unless I'm using it for the show, and I don't really have a reason to buy. Like, I'm not going to buy an arcade board just so I can... Uh, record, you know, a few minutes of footage for the show. That's not a good uh, use of show money. So. And I see that there's um, I see there's a lot of chat uh, whipping by and um, I promise I'll check it in a minute. I just want to get to the end of this. If anybody wants to tell me, does the, is the stream quality okay? Because in OBS it's green, but um, I also have the YouTube window open and there it's yellow, which I don't really know what I can do about that anyway. I think 720p. I'm only meaning to stream at 720p. So if it's streaming in 1080, then I guess that's good news for you guys. But I saw Ryan just said uh, the stream is good, so hopefully we're okay. I mean, I have the I have the fastest internet that's available in my neighborhood, and I mean, I have a, 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 my streaming computer is directly wired into the the AT&T router, so there's literally nothing more I can do except stream at 480p, which obviously I'm not going to do, so. Um, my Does it only work sometimes? I don't know. Oh, again, again. It's a good thing we have five continues. Alright, this is a good stopping point, so I'm going to, um... Wow, Shane's wife is here. What's up, Shane's wife? Um... So I'm going to scroll back real quick and just uh, make sure I didn't miss anything that was um, directed at me. Oh, Red's Fanatic 25, uh, first time catching a live stream. Well, uh, welcome, man. You said you picked up the belt action collection for the Switch. Oh, oh, okay, the beat 'em up bundle. Why is it called the belt action collection? You are you talking about? Is that the Capcom beat 'em up bundle? I should get that. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing live streams and stuff like that. Um, like somebody had suggested, I do the Konami, um, the Contra collection from Konami. Uh, I'm just not that good at Contra. The only Contra game I'm any anything close to decent at is the first one. And even then, I'm really not that good at it, so... Um, I don't really generally like playing games that I really suck at, but I don't know, I kind of suck at most games, so... The 
two sequels were Brawl Brothers and Peacekeepers. Well, I mean, I'm going to leave it up to you guys what other games you play after this one. Like I said, we can do... Um, we we can play whatever you want. Oh, Morpheus is here. I've, where have you been lately, man? I haven't seen uh, Morpheus. I haven't seen you on a live stream in quite some time. And you want me to play King of Dragons for the Super Nintendo. Um, yeah, if I, uh, if I remember. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever played that one, so it would be kind of cool to check out. Uh, and then Pedro says, you just saw the eclipse today in Chile. I didn't know you guys were having an eclipse down there. I saw the eclipse we had up here um, back in, uh, I don't know, whenever that was last year. Was that last August or something? All right, I'm, also, I'm almost caught up here, so. Yeah, Batman Returns, I already played that one on a live stream, so... Um, play that one again so um yeah morpheus it's kind of funny i mean i was kind of actually wondering where you went like i wonder i was like oh man did i say something to piss that guy off or something just because you kind of disappeared one day um yeah Teresa, it's cool you're hearing everything i i deputized some more people and um so if you're only here uh for the moderating uh duties you don't really have to worry about it but i mean if you're here to hang out then obviously obviously that's cool but i know that you guys are on vacation so um, certainly don't feel like you're to be here. Uh, why do they give you sushi as a power up? That's kind of cool. So I know not, not everybody in the chat is uh, a fan of Bithead, but uh, uh, for those of you who are, uh, I wa one of his recent uploads, you know, he got some of those video game uh, soundtracks on vinyl. And that's probably the closest I've ever come to buying buying some of that stuff myself. Like it was, just seeing how excited he was to check those out was really cool. Uh, you know, I've kind of made my personal feelings pretty clear about, uh, oh my God, I have some weird sword. Uh, about, you know, video game soundtracks on vinyl and the fact that I just kind of don't see the point. But, I mean, that doesn't mean that they're not cool. Um, but just kind of seeing him nerd out with those things really kind of made, uh, made me want to get it. I need to continue here. Let's try the other guy. Uh, this guy looks kind of like M. Bison. Not even kind of, he just looks like M. Bison. sword that's one thing i don't like about beat em up games is like anytime you're standing like over a weapon it wants to pick up the weapon instead of like fighting the guy so um all right let me just catch up real quick this shouldn't take as long as time so um did someone tell devin what game yeah okay they got him covered there uh Teresa got some smallmouth bass. That's pretty cool. Did you eat them? Um, also, Nev says a video game or a video for the GameCube or Game Boy systems would also be good to make. Yeah, I would definitely like to make the Game Boy. GameCube, I'm not as excited about, but that doesn't mean I won't do it. Um, it's, this doesn't make any sense. I feel like the GameCube is too new, and that makes me not want to do it, but it's the same generation as the PS2 and the Xbox. So what I said makes no sense. Um, did I enjoy his TurboGrafx-16 mini, mini video? I mean, yeah, it was all right. Um, oh, Zed wants a Discord. Can anybody else uh, hook Zed up with a Discord link? Because I don't... Well, uh, well, I can do it real fast, I guess. Um, Yeah, Movie Metalhead says that Bithead's Glass Nintendo video has close to a million views. Yeah, that's awesome, man. It's so nice to see that, you know, he finally had something go viral. So, um... All right, there we go. Oh, wow, we got free Google money from someone else now, too. That's awesome. 
there is a Discord link that's uh, that expires in a day, so as many of you can use that as you, as, as you want. Uh, thanks for the free Google Bucks or Google Buck Nebdos. I appreciate that. Uh, Devin wants to know: Are you still doing a video for the Sega Dreamcast? Yes, and in fact, I worked on that quite a bit uh, last weekend. I'm still writing it, but what I kind of do now a lot is I, um, while I'm writing and I'm sitting at my computer. I'll go uh, on the internet and, and look for things to like uh, videos or images to download that I want to insert into the video that, that kind of go with whatever I just wrote. And I actually start putting that into the timeline. So that should make it a little bit easier when I get to the uh, editing stage. So, um, Okay. Um, all right. I think we're, I think we're caught up here. So, um, well, that's kind of cool. You got like a Olympic stadium in the background that kind of looks like a rip off of, uh, streets of rage two with the baseball stadium, but I don't know which game came out first. So I guess I can't really say that. So what the heck is a walleye? I don't, we don't have those here, I guess. So I don't, cause I, I know, I noticed Derek mentioned walleyes earlier in the discord chat. Like, what, is that like a kind of bass or trout or, I just don't know anything about, like, can, like, can you go into, like, a restaurant where you live and, like, order walleye or, uh, I'm just kind of curious, maybe it's, like, a different name for a fish that I know, uh, I don't know. Stop throwing freaking dynamite at me, man. Mostly around here, what we have is trout, so like rainbow trout. Uh, you can go up north a little bit and you can catch salmon. Uh, not as many. It used to be. Like, have we had this conversation before? Uh, a lot of the rivers up in the north coast here in California used to be like really fertile spawning ground for um, for salmon, and so fly fishing was super popular here. But. Um, then they started putting up, uh, you know, Bureau Reclamation and whatnot, and started putting up dams and um, ruining the salmon's uh, spawning. And so now we don't have anywhere near as much salmon anymore, which is a shame. I think we have talked about this before because I even recommended uh, there's a documentary about that called Rivers of a Lost Coast, which is a really well done documentary. I've watched it a couple of times. If you're into fishing, I'm saying you would. If you're a, a fishing enthusiast, you would like that. Uh, oh my goodness, that took off most of my health. Well, right back at you, slick. There you go. Oh, Ryan, that was. Oh yeah, that was. It's right. Right. It's a. It's an entertaining. It's kind of depressing a little bit, I suppose, but it's a really well done documentary. Walleye is like a freshwater cod. All right, cool. I thought you didn't have water because SoCal steals it all. Um, no, we still have um, we still have plenty of water. I think that's mostly like uh, like uh, farmers up here would be upset that so much of our water is getting shipped down to Southern California, which which kind of sucks only because like we're taking water that we could use to like irrigate crops and we're sending it to Southern California so that they can water their lawns with it. Although, at least that's the perception down here. and Maybe it's not correct. But. but at the end of the day, it seems like we all have enough water, so I don't really know what the big deal is. This guy's got a different little special move. Look at that. There's a little, little dance there. Man, once he gets you in his clutches, there's not anything you're going to do about it. 
Mike, you don't fish because you don't eat fish? Like, you can still fish if you don't eat fish. I mean, you can always throw them back. I mean, it's fun to fish. It was funny. For some reason, my wife asked me just the other day. Um, she asked me if I enjoyed fishing with my dad, which I thought, like, I thought that was, like, an odd question because, like, of course I did. But, like, she's taking... Her, her boss is taking his son fishing and his son's like, you know, not even 10 years old or something. And she's like, why would a 10 year old? And I was trying to explain to her, maybe she doesn't understand, you know, because she's not a guy or whatever. I mean, I'm not trying to be sexist, but I'm just saying like, for most of us, like if you grew up with a dad, you know, they, or a cool dad, or I, most boys, I think, really look up to their dad and idolize their dad, right? And so like, if your dad wants to take you fishing in the woods for like three days, just the two of you, like, what kid does doesn't want that unless they've got like a s bag for a dad you know so and i was trying to tell her that's what it's about like it's not that they're fishing and like it's not the kid cares about catching a fish it's like that kid's gonna get to spend like three days in the woods with his dad without his mom there and without his sisters there like what's better than that i mean it'd be no different you know maybe maybe a girl hanging out with their mom or whatever. i guess i don't know i mean certainly little boys can hang out with their moms and girls can hang out with their dads and that's a thing too but I guess maybe it's, it's just getting like sort of the um, undivided attention of your parent or I mean, maybe I'm just talking out of my butt I don't know. let me just check the chat real quick because I feel like it's been a while so um, Adam says, did you ever see the TV show Fish Masters? That sounds vaguely familiar. But I can't say for sure. Uh, almonds. Yeah, don't get me started on almonds. Why did I choose to play Rival Turf? Because it's a game that I own. So it's it's one of the only beat 'em ups for the Super Nintendo I own besides um, besides Final Fight. What's up, Wood Rat Nat? Uh, QE gave us a buck ninety nine. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Rob Odell says, everyone down here has cactuses and succulent yards because Jerry Brown attacks breaks if you change your yard from grass to rock. Yeah, we missed out on that. We actually got rid of our lawn. Um, not because we're trying to be environmentally friendly, but it, it probably cut our water bill by two-thirds not having grass anymore. But um, we didn't get any kind of tax break for that, for that. But just the break in our water bill made it worth it, so... Derek caught a 25-inch walleye? Wait. You can catch a 25-inch long fish and that's not long enough to keep? How much does a 25-inch walleye weigh? Alright, anyway. Walleye are long and skinny. I mean, I, even if it's a freaking eel. Alright, I feel like 20... Wouldn't she say 24 inches, 26 inches? That, that seems long to me. Now, and by the way, just because uh, you can see it in the window there, the game is actually letterboxed, kind of. It's like Final Fight. So it's not like I don't have the um, streaming thing set up properly. Like, this is actually what... The game has black bars at the top and bottom on the CRT as well. That's just what it looks like. So. You guys see, um, it's like I commented on it on Twitter right before I started the stream, but Kotaku published some article today about how, like, the word Metroidvania is stupid because non-gamers wouldn't understand what it means and we should come up with a new one. Like, you know, I'm not one to, like, crap on fellow content creators, but at the same time, I think Kotaku is kind of a garbage website. But it's just, like, what a dumb thing to write about. Like, 
how did that person come up with that? It's like, oh, this is something I feel passionate about that I want to write about. Metroidvania is a dumb thing to say. Like, okay, what do you got? You know? Of course, I get, you know, kind of, well, not upset, but like, I don't like the word shmup all that much, but, you know, I just say shooter instead, you know? I mean, but if someone says shmup, I'm not telling you how to talk. But I certainly wouldn't write an article about it. Like, is, is it just, is it like a, a light week in video game news? Is that, is that one you were keeping in your pocket until uh, there was nothing else to talk about? I mean, didn't Epic just say, or, or someone just said they're going to give refunds to the Shenmue 3 backers? Like, talk about that instead of saying Metroidvania is a stupid word. And sorry, I saw somebody else say I should play Knights of the Round. Uh, I agree, I like that game. Uh, yeah, Huel Hauser, what was that? What was, oh, I, I watched that show sometimes too, and I can't remember what it's called either, but that's a good show. Oh, this guy's going to be trouble. Yeah, California Gold, or California's Gold, or whatever, yeah. That was cool. He did a show on uh, on Davis one time, so I thought that was cool. Oh, all right. I thought, for some reason, I thought that guy was going to be a lot harder than he ended up being. Bouncing Panther Pucks. Hi, CGQ+. I'm glad to be here. Love your main channel a lot. I'm in high school, and I love to play retro games, especially sports games. That's awesome. I love sports games, too. Uh, you know, you're a lucky kid, because when I was in high school, playing games was not cool. So you're growing up in a good time, my friend. And uh, I'm glad you're here. Just I'm just scrolling up to see what I know I missed. Castleoid, yeah. Try that. See how that works. Uh, oh yeah, Knights Around. Yeah, we can check out so Knights Around, and, and then what did we say we were going to play for Morpheus, King of Dragons? Uh, so we can check that one out too. Um, Mike wants to be good at Metroid, but you get confused. Uh, oh yeah, there he is now, King of Dragons. Um, Mike, have you played Super Metroid? Like, If you want to play the uh, original Metroid, I would suggest that instead you play Metroid Zero Mission on the Game Boy Advance. I mean, playing the original Metroid is fine too, but um, especially if you feel like you're not good at Metroid games, uh, Zero Mission gives you a few extra abilities that I think make the game um, uh, more playable. Yeah, haha, James. Zero, zero, I don't, I don't know. How do you say zero? I should just say not instead. Ooh. Zero. Well, what am I saying? Oh, yeah, zilch. <laughs> Metroid zilch mission. God, that guy's got my number. playing this game for I don't, I don't want to just play this one game for too long but I kind of figured I'd plow through my continues faster than this but they give you what like five lives so that's part of the problem so we're doing this again that Reggie what was that guy doing
I'll say this though, the more I play this game, the more it's cool. It's really not a bad game. I like being fake and bison better than the other guy. Jack Flack. There's 150 people watching? When did I get back? I'm glad you're all here. Gigante. You like Nelson over Jay? That's what I'm saying. Hey, Chris K. See all kinds of names that I recognize. What is that chicken? Oh, I guess I shouldn't have grabbed that. Chicken sounds good right now. I had a very abbreviated dinner so that I could do a stream tonight. gotten into making uh like I, now i'm making stovetop popcorn which i've never i've always just eaten microwave popcorn which i think is what, what most people do and then i don't know how we got started on this idea of you know probably my wife watched something or something on youtube i don't know she got into wanting to make popcorn on the stove and i guess i just never realized how easy it was like you can make popcorn at home that tastes like you're eating movie theater popcorn uh and it costs like not literally pennies, but it's cheaper even than a microwave popcorn, unless you buy the cheap stuff. Get an air popper. Ugh. No, I hate. I don't like the way uh, air pop popcorn like squeaks when you when you eat it. Like squeaks against your teeth. Uh, when I was a kid, though, air poppers were like really popular because it was like, oh, you can eat popcorn and it's healthier for you. But, um, oh yeah, Jiffy Pop. Jiffy Pop's good stuff, too. Is this guy dead? No, he's dead. Nope, he's not dead. No, he's dead. Um, just want to scroll up real fast. Um, dude, there we go. Yeah, Jameson knows what I'm talking about. Need a 16-bit theme for your OBS overlay? I mean, uh, I already have, like, three OBS overlays to keep track of so I mean you're not wrong but uh, at some point I feel like it's just too many so um, this wasn't really meant to be an 8-bit themed one it's just supposed to be like a classic 4-3 uh, gaming one so um, yeah someone mentioned uh, oh yeah Mike, Mike mentioned Jiffy Pop Mike actually sent me some Jiffy Pop Jiffy Pop is awesome Movie theaters used to use coconut oil back in the day. That's what I use. I use coconut oil. Um, yeah. Uh, I wanted to try some other stuff. I was reading something that was saying uh, to use um, red palm oil. But I think they were mostly saying that because it makes the color better. Like it makes the, the popcorn have more of a yellow um, color to it, which I don't really care about the color. But... Uh, certainly, as far as flavor goes, uh, coconut oil is great. It doesn't you don't it doesn't like taste like coconut or anything, but it just kind of gives you the same like mouth feel or whatever as if you were uh, eating uh, like movie theater popcorn. And then I just put salt on it. I don't I know some people like I got some popcorn aficionados uh, at uh, at work. Who, you know, like, oh, you, you should try putting cinnamon and sugar, or you should put herbs, or this or that. And I'm like, I just like salt, man. Like, popcorn's good. Uh, 
the pouncing puck says, are we ever going to do retrospectives on PS2 or Xbox? Yeah, I talked about that already before you got here, actually, tonight. Uh, that, that, yes, I would like to do both of those. Is this a boss, or is it just some... remember there you I don't know if it still exists there used to be this website and I could swear the guy's name was Gord but he ran like a video rental store and he would like his whole website was stories of like him dealing with like problematic customers but like the stories were all written in a way that made him seem like the super badass and uh, it just you know it just kind of reminded me of like it's like if somebody was talking about what they wish they had said at the time, but had, like, I don't believe half of what the guy wrote. Um, but that being said, it was still very uh, entertaining to read. Like, I don't understand why it's a thing in beat em ups that the boss always has to have like these buddies. Like what, how many other games do that? That was like back in school. There we go. We got him. That was like back in school, you know, where some guy wanted to fight you, but he needed to have like three of his buddies with him or something. Adam Smith says we should organize a CGQ camp out and go fishing and make popcorn. I feel like that's actually been floated before. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, Clay, I, try searching for like Tales of Gourd or something like that. Um, I can't remember the, the guy's name. But uh, Nostalgia Addict says, Kobe to the Lakers. I mean, I'm not a Lakers fan, so I don't really care what happens with them. I mean, I, I want to see the Kings get better. That's what I want to see. Uh, I mean, I rooted for the Golden State Warriors uh, in, in the finals just because they're at least kind of semi local, but I would much prefer to see the Sacramento Kings uh, get better. It was fun watching them play. Uh, back when they had Vladi Divas and those guys, Paige Stoyakovic and uh, Chris Weber. And, uh, uh, so it would be nice to see them kind of get back to form a little bit. Uh, I've been really getting more into basketball uh, lately. I'm sorry that the season is over. Um, I've kind of been falling out of love with NFL football. And, um, I don't know why I, I never got into basketball. Just I, I never really knew anybody that was into it. Like I still don't really understand the sport that much as far as like um, strategy and whatnot. But um, I would like to learn. So. I'll tell you the real question right now is where is D Forte? And I'm not asking because, you know, he's always cracking his wallet open. I just like to see the guy in here. Acts of Gord. There you go. Like, it's just, you know, there's a, there's a subreddit called That Happened. And there's another subreddit called I Am Very Badass. And that whole Acts of Gord website reminds me of something you'd see in one of those two subreddits. But it's still sort of entertaining to read. Or it was when I read it, and that was like a long time ago. Maybe now I think it was stupid. I don't know. Dingo. Wonder if he eats babies. Oh yeah, the loot to fisk. Well, I thought I, you know, I thought I was getting some. 
Remember that conversation? Remember I said that I like to eat different things, and you're like, oh, you're not going to eat lutefisk. And I said, oh, well, send me some. And then you said you would, and then you never did. I'll, I'll eat it right on the live stream. I'll QE your playing virtual racing on the Switch. I need to pick that up. I've been playing... Uh, uh, Final Fantasy 7 actually uh, on the Switch uh, all this talk about uh, you know Final Fantasy 7 get, get, getting remade and whatnot, which I, you know I'm not I'm not really super into remakes so I don't really care about that but uh, I didn't know that you could just download it on the Switch like the, you know the semi-original version you know, it's a little got some little subtle differences I suppose but uh, uh, I've been enjoying playing back through that so you like how you can fast forward? See, I don't use the fast forward because to me it kind of feels like cheating, even though it really shouldn't matter. I'm not saying you're a cheater if you do that. I don't care what you do. I'm saying I don't. I want to play it like the original way, so I haven't been doing any fast forwarding. Uh, but you know, I, as I've said before, that's one of my all-time um, favorite games. So uh, I've been having a good time playing. It. You can play the OG Diablo on Switch now. Uh, yeah, I've never, I've actually never played Diablo. Uh, only because I think it came out at a time where I didn't really have a. Like, I didn't have a computer that could play it. Um, you know, I talked about that uh, DOS machine. Um, well, I'm not done talking about it, but, you know, I've talked at length about my DOS gaming on um, on Flashback. And I ended up using that computer, like, well past its point of uh, uh, ob obsolescence. Um, like, I was still using that computer in, like, community college, like, to write papers on and stuff. Because it's not like it didn't work. I mean, I had a printer for it. And, you know, I could use the, the, uh, not really text editing. I don't even call it desktop publishing or whatever. I mean, it was like a, you know, I mean, it was a, it was a program that was meant for, like, you know, writing papers or writing whatever. And, uh, so I still used it, uh, because I didn't really have have money to buy something else and wasn't really even that interested in buying something else. Um, but as a result, uh, even once like 3D gaming uh, started to take off, uh, I did not have a, um, uh, I didn't have a computer that could play any of that kind of, like I didn't have a 3D card uh, or really have a computer with a processor that was good enough. Uh, you know, I had a 386 and I never, uh, I didn't upgrade past that until I finally got like a Windows 98 second edition uh, machine. And that wasn't until like uh, 1998 at least. <laughs> Windows 98 probably came out in 98, right? But I don't know when second, it might have even been 1999 by the time I got a new computer. So, you know, I spent all that money putting that computer together. So I really used it to death. But, you know, all those games that I had, those DOS games, like I still enjoyed playing those games. And so I didn't mind that that was all I had um, as far as a computer goes. Oops. All right, last continue, and then we're going to play something else. We're going to play... I don't know if Morpheus is even still here, but, uh, dude, no. uh, we're going to play King of Dragons just because he asked him, so. But I would like to play Knights of the Round, too, so I'm going to try to play that one, too. Dial up till 2009. Yeah, I didn't have dial up that long, but, I mean, I had dial up for a long time. I moved away and went to college in 2001, and then even in college I had dial-up because my my school had a free dial-up uh, service. Like you could call a, just a local campus number and get dial-up that way. That way you didn't have to pay for it. Um, so I used that, and it wasn't until I moved on campus that 
you know, then I was on their local area network, and then I had, like, Scream and Fast and Everything. But again, it was, I mean, it wasn't free, I guess. It, it was included in the rent, I suppose, if you want to look at it that way. Um, but that wasn't until 2003. And even then, like I said, I only had it because I moved on campus. So, and then once I graduated and left campus, you know, of course I wasn't going to go back to dial -in. I like how this game only has like two layers of parallax scrolling. Like this would be a perfect spot where like, you know, you have that water back there and you know, you can put in a few extra layers of scrolling and really make it look nice. But uh, they did not do that. Panther Puck says, what do you remember most of the 90s? I mean, I don't even know how to answer that. I mean, I was, in the 90s, I went, like, I turned 13 in 1990 and then turned 23 in 2000, right? So, I mean, that was a pretty meaty part of my life, so I can't really... But that also, like, when the 90s started, I was in junior high school, and when the 90s finished, I was... Well, I should have been getting out of college. But, um, I hadn't even really started at university yet. But it was a great time, man. I, I miss the 90s a lot. So, I mean, you said you're in high school now. So, like, you know, 20 years from now, you're going to be having this exact same conversation with somebody. And you're going to say how you, you know, you missed the 2000 and teens or whatever. Because it was like a cool time in your life, you know. You always, you always remember, I think, your younger years with fondness. So, um, which, you know, you'll see when you get older. Mullets. There's. A, I remember that about the '90s, man. Mullets. I had a mullet. I have one picture, I think, of me with a mullet. And you know, I've shown a few pictures, that, like you know, on, on my channel or in Discord. And boy, I can guarantee you, you're never gonna see that mullet picture. Let this guy grab you. It's a pro tip from Classic Game Portal. Okay, we're on our last life and we have no continues. I'm at a point where I would just be happy to beat this boss. Alright, that's it. Game over. Um, Teresa, you listen to Lithium on Sirius XM. Um, yeah, I like that channel a lot too. Although, um, now I'm, I'm kind of more into uh, First Wave on, on Sirius, but I like, um, I like Lithium a lot too. Sorry, I'm just scrolling up here real quick. Um, but we're going to go ahead and play King of Dragons. I mean, yeah, Morphe, it's cool that um, it's cool that a Canadian team won the NBA championship, but um, I would much rather see a Canadian team win the Stanley Cup uh, for once. Hey, Larry G, I am having a good evening. I uh, hope you are too. Uh, all right, I don't want to scroll up too far. I don't want to waste people's time. But um, yeah, all right. So uh, let's go ahead and switch the game out. I'm going to use the eject lever 
just because I have the option. I don't know why they thought. You know, it's funny, like, you know, these console manufacturers are always trying to find ways to save, like, two cents on a console, right? Because two cents times two million consoles is a lot of money. I don't know why Nintendo felt the need to put in an eject lever. Okay. Uh, there it is, the King of Dragons. Nev wants to know how long it takes to make my videos. It takes a really, really long time. Like, hundreds of hours, I would say. I mean, I've spent, I don't even know how much time um, just writing the Dreamcast uh, launch episode. I haven't even gotten to doing any kind of recording or uh, editing yet, so. Although part of that, I haven't done any voiceover recording because I was waiting for the new microphone and whatnot to get here. Uh, and I've had the microphone for a couple weeks, but I just barely got the new recorder. So, and, sorry, somebody was saying uh, which character I should be. I know it just started for me, but I can always just reset it real fast. Um, can someone just tell me again? Because I can't find it now. Wizard. All right. Um, Wizard is a strong... That's what I want. I never played this game before, so, you know, let's not make it any harder on ourselves than we need to. Uh, am I a Lord of the Rings fan? I No. Not because I don't like it. I've never... Oh, this one's Letterbox too. Wow. Um, I've never read the books. I've never seen any of the movies. Uh, I know that makes me a weirdo, so I'm just seeing what the buttons do. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I've just never... I mean, at this point, like, if I... I should have started watching the Lord of the Rings movies when they came out, right? But it's like if somebody had never seen any of the Star Wars movies before. Like, at this point, there's, like, so many to watch that it would just feel like homework. Nice. I can't go back and get that. And, I mean, on top of that, I'm just, I'm just not that interested, I guess. I don't... I'm sure I must have said this before, but I'm just not that into watching movies. It's just, um, I don't know what it is. Like, to me, it's just like having to, like, sit still and and just watch a movie for two hours. Just, uh, it just feels like an incredible waste of time to me. Like, especially since I started doing YouTube and whatnot. Like, I can find much more productive ways uh, to spend that two hours, like, streaming with you guys. Um. Unfortunately, you know, my wife would like to watch movies with me sometimes. So, I mean, I, I do watch movies with her sometimes, but not nearly as often as she would like. And we stay away from, from that. Can you get in between them? That seems like what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I think so. All right, not bad. Um, hey, Josh is here. What's up, dude? Yeah, don't... I, I mean, I was just warming up until you got here, so... Uh, so, yeah, I'm glad you're here. Oh, Smoke Monster's here. What's up? What's up, Monster? Sorry, I'm just, uh, yeah, Derek doesn't watch movies much either, yeah. I don't know, it just, uh, I don't know, I don't have anything against movies, like, movies are cool, it's just, I always just kind of feel like that's two hours of my life I'm never going to get back, so, um, I like Anne Berlin a lot, says, Chris, introduce your wife to the classic video game movie, The Wizard, I can, I'm pretty sure that she would not want to watch the wizard although i don't you know my wife is full of surprises so like my wife and i are watching f1 together now which you know uh for anybody that's familiar with it that's really because of the netflix series uh which i think was the whole point of the netflix series so hey like whatever works you know 
Uh, it certainly seems to be making F1 a lot more popular uh, here in the U.S. But um, I think that and the fact that we went to that race uh, between those two things, uh, uh, that got her uh, more into it. Like, she actually got up with me. Because, uh, you know, most of the, like, all the European races are on at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning here in, in, uh, on the west coast of the U.S. And, uh, you know, so I got up at, you know, 545 so that I could uh, watch the Austrian Grand Prix. And she actually got up with me and watched the entire thing. So uh, that was pretty cool. Um, that was quite the entertaining race. Um, it wasn't the outcome that I wanted, but at the same time, um, just as a fan of motor racing, like, you had to, you had to kind of be in awe of what happened, but Clay says, you prefer Turing and 24-hour racing? Yeah, so I'll say, Clay, that, uh, the 24 hours of Le Mans, like, I'm more excited about watching the 24 hours of Le Mans, uh, than I am about, like, the Super Bowl. Like, I, I had so much fun watching the 24 hours, uh, this year. Like, I, I watched, I couldn't even tell you how much of it, like, I just, I streamed it on my iPad, and that way I just carried my iPad around with me, and then, like, if I was doing something in the kitchen, like cooking, uh, I'd plug it into the wall and recharge the battery, but I think, aside from when I fell asleep, I turned it off because it was keeping me awake, uh, I, I had the, I had Le Mans running the entire weekend, uh, well, you know, 6 a.m. Saturday to 6 a.m. Sunday, but, um, uh, yeah, I just, I had an awesome time. So, uh, it's probably my favorite race. Like, that, and it's funny, because F1 is my favorite series, but my two favorite races are uh, Le Mans and uh, the Indy 500, which, obviously, neither one of those are Formula 1 races, but, uh, just, can you just die, please? Move. Um... I just want to scroll back up here. Hey, Bola Plume. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad to see you here. It's kind of funny because you sent me a postcard a really long time ago. And it, anytime someone sent me a postcard a long time ago and I haven't heard from them lately, I always just wonder, like, well, maybe they drifted away from the channel or something. So when I see you guys pop up in the chat or something, it uh, makes me happy. And then Clay wants to know, can you type your scripts while watching a movie? Yeah, I mean, I don't think my wife gets super excited when I'm, like, working while we're trying to watch a movie together. So, um because what I don't know why she'll do this. Like if I got my computer, or got my iPad, and started doing that, then she just like reflexively will go do the same thing. And then it's like, well, why are we even watching a movie? Um, I don't know. It's just like if I'm gonna sit down and do something with my wife, then I should be doing something with my wife, I guess. So. Who's talking about the skin flute? Come on, we got kids in here. And and ladies. Uh, JD Deluxe, what's up, man? Yeah, the stream is booming tonight. I should stream less often, more often. Uh, maybe it's just because I haven't um, streamed in like... It's been almost two months. The last stream I did was May 7th. So... Um, so yeah. All right. It's funny, I never played this game and I I suspect, I don't know this for a fact, but I wonder if I saw this, you know, like in my EverDrive or something, you know, just in the ROM set. And I wonder if I accidentally like conflated it with uh, King of Monsters, uh, which is that one-on-one uh, -on -one fighting game on the Neo Geo. There's King of Monsters and King of Monsters 2. And uh, I just wonder if maybe I... Maybe I thought that. I don't know. Because I've definitely never played this game before.
Are those G things, is that just like points or is it like money that you can like spend? What well, says EP up there? Do you, oh, you level up, I see. Well, that's nice. Oh yeah, see, so we just leveled up. That's pretty cool. Got a strawberry, nothing wrong with that. Another boss battle. Oh, we have an actual dragon. I think this guy's gonna end up being a pain. I feel like he's gonna take a while. Is he trying to grab me? Do I have like any kind of... Oh yeah, see. I need to be doing that. Do I have a limited number of those? Ooh, that's taking my health. Ooh, I don't care about that. Yeah, now we're dead. Ouch. Ooh, oops. Got him. Sorry, this is a long boss battle. We almost got him, but he's almost got us too, so. Dude, how many times do I have to hit him when he only has one bar of freaking health? Don't you touch me with those claws. Yeah, Matthew, I'm kind of with you. I thought there was going to be a lot more fire breathing going on. Yeah, Derek, you missed it. I already announced the secret announcement. I, I warned you that it wasn't that exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, let me uh, go back up here. Um, oh, my God, I missed so much. Phalanx. Yeah, I'm not going to play Phalanx. Um, you just watched all of Stranger Things. I've still never watched Stranger Things. Everyone tells me that I need to. And I, I'm sure I probably do need to. And in fact, maybe that's something I could watch with my wife. I don't know if she would be into that or not. But we could give it a try. Um, oh, and there's a Stranger Things game. I didn't know that either. So, Yeah, see, Josh, Knights of the Round is pretty good. But Knights of the Round is very similar to this game. So I feel like at the very least... I need to sandwich something else uh, in between this game and Knights of the Round, which maybe we should do Gradius 3 because I don't want to forget uh, to do that. Uh, Super Smash TV, uh, that'd be kind of fun, I guess. I don't know if it fits in with tonight's motif, but neither does Gradius 3. So, um, Oh my God, Derek, you with the old bag joke. Uh, Final Fight 3. Uh, but, um... Almost done. Everyone's telling you you need to do some. Yeah, Josh, I'm the exact same way. That's the problem. Um, people tell me, like, oh, you have to watch this. Especially someone's like, oh, you haven't seen whatever? You have to watch that. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I don't know why. That's It's a weird thing, I guess. But I just... Um, I think I've told that story before, but I didn't see The Matrix for a while. Like, I still saw The Matrix in the movie theater but not anywhere near right when it came out because everybody was like, oh, you have to see The Matrix. And I was like, well, just for that, I'm not going to watch it. Which is kind of stupid, but I, I, don't know. I don't know why people are like that. I just don't like people telling me what I need to be doing, I guess. Oh my god, what is that? 
get off me. guys were a little bit on the annoying side. Cupcake. They have cupcakes back in these days? The Big Lebowski is boring. Wow. I'll give you credit like that. That's taking quite the stand. I definitely do not agree with you, but uh, I admire your boldness in going on record as saying such a thing. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. Exactly. Maybe these guys will breathe fire. I feel like these, these bosses have like way too many hit points. This game's got some slowdown. This this game needs some of that SA1 treatment that uh, Gradius 3 got. I'm guessing that's not going to happen. Ooh. We, oh, we got the red one. Ooh, but now we got a new... A new challenger has arrived. Ooh, now we got two of them. Look at that blue guy. Hey, stop it. Really? Alright, that was ugly, but we got it done. Still no fire. I, yeah, I thought maybe we'd get some more fire breathing. It was very little fire breathing. Uh, John Wick. Yeah, I haven't seen that either. Hey, Chris Archer. What's up, dude? I don't know. I didn't think The Matrix is overrated. I like that movie quite a bit. But, um, but I can see where, you know, I saw it, but I feel like the more time goes by, the more overrated, the more rated or the more hyped it gets. Because now it's like, oh, this classic science fiction movie. Like, like I said, when I saw it, it was still in the, in the movie theater. So it wasn't um, getting hyped to the level that it is now. Uh, going back to The Big Lebowski, though, I didn't see The Big Lebowski until several years after it had come out. And I think I just like Netflixed it. Or uh, that was back when you had to get a disc from Netflix or I got out of a red box or something. So um, by that time, nobody was saying anything about it. And I also, I didn't know anything about it. So that kind of helps. Sorry, I'm still reading here. After Gradius, you could try Space Megaforce. Yeah, I remember I played, I talked about, didn't I talk about Space Megaforce on a magazine read through? Um, it's a cool game because wasn't that's part of the um, same series as Musha, I think. Right? Isn't that what I said? Mike McFly says bowling needs to be a mainstream sport on TV again. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Well, don't they still show bowling sometimes on ESPN? My grandfather used to love to watch that. Um, yeah, I kind of someone's saying I need to play Gra Gradius Three. Yeah, I don't. I kind of feel like I've played as much this game as I want to play. It's a cool game, though, but um, 
uh, yeah, Morpheus, I like it. It's pretty cool. I feel like it would be a lot more fun two-player. Can you, you can play this game two-player simultaneous, right? Um, but I, I kind of feel like I'm getting to the end of my rope with it tonight. Uh, just because I think it would help kind of change things up a little bit if, um, I don't know what that, I don't know what these power-ups are even doing, but ooh, what? We got a different, uh, the weapon looks different now. Look at that. I like that. I still need to, like, get somebody to come over here to play some, like, couch co-op or something for, for a live stream. That would be kind of cool, you know, but... My, my concern with that is getting, you know, if I have my friend come over, you know, maybe he's not going to be so entertaining to watch on camera. I don't really know. There we go. Oh, this area looks pretty cool. I knew I said I was going to stop playing, but some of these areas just look pretty cool. So. We're going to play Gradius, don't anybody worry. Besides, you know, I'm doing better at these games than I'm going to do with Gradius, just to warn everybody. You know, games like Gradius, I feel like, you know, at least for me, it's not like riding a bike. Like, if you haven't played it in a while. Like, I played a ton of Gradius 3 uh, when I did that Super Nintendo in 1991 episode, but I mean... At this point, that was like a year and a half ago, so. And I've played uh, very little of that game since then. Like, I played a little bit of it because I just wanted to check out that ROM hack, uh, which is definitely really cool. But I certainly haven't, like, practiced or anything. Dude, that's a total ripoff of a, a Castlevania boss. Was it Super Castlevania, I think? Even with the with the... He did the same two attacks, man. He he, he swung the, the axe and he uh, did his little charge that. Sorry, I, th I thought I saw a super chat go by. Uh, I don't want to not acknowledge it, but I don't want to pause the game while I'm doing a boss battle either. Ooh. Did I not see a super chat go by? All right, well, cool. Then I'm not a, I'm not a jerk for not seeing it. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a documentary shot in real time of what everyday life was like in the '70s. I could believe it. Gladiator, yeah. Gladiator was the first DVD I think I ever watched. If you watch The Matrix today, you need to put on your wraparounds. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a wraparound is. You, Josh would like to see a CGQ live stream devoted entirely to beating Act Razor from start to finish. That would be cool. How long would that take? Still would be cool, though. Super Duper Subby said, I just bought a CGQ sticker and coaster from you. Looking forward to that cool shot. Cool. Like, I hope... You mean you just did it? Because I haven't gotten any emails lately, but if you just did it, then I'm not going to see that yet. But if you did, either way, thank you very much. 
no one wants Chris to play the diabetes game or the asthma game. I don't understand what you're talking about. Um, YouTube streams on iPad are not that good. Um, that's definitely true. Yeah, Derek, you do a lot to promote the show. I appreciate it. You always put it in your uh, tweets, uh, your game pickups tweets, so I appreciate it. Do I have an ASCII pad controller? I don't. I've always wanted one, but I just never think about it, like hopping on eBay and just grabbing one real quick. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to get. Just because it, it looks like it's the same quality as uh, like a regular Super Nintendo controller, but just with turbo. Uh, I'm using a Super Famicom controller uh, tonight just because I like it because it has a shorter cable because the, the system is literally sitting right here. Other than that, I mean, it's the same. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I paused the game. Um, otherwise, it's the same thing. Um, oh, wraparound sunglasses. All right. Got it. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch the games now um, just so we can get some... Uh, Gradius 3 time in. Uh, where did I put... I think that's in here. Oh, yeah, there it is. So that's got... Um, hold on, let me make sure I got that. Um, oh, no, I didn't. Uh, so this, it, that just has the original Gradius three. And then, uh, this SA one here, that's the, uh, that's the patched, uh, version. So that's what we're going to check out, uh, right now. Um, so I, for, I mean, just real quick for anybody that didn't, wasn't here when I explained it earlier. Uh, so this is, a, a, a version of the, uh, Gradius three ROM that has been patched, uh, with like SA one chip support so that it gets rid of the issues with slowdown, which are, uh, really, really bad in this game. So, um, now they're not, because now you can just uh, play it like this. I don't remember. Uh, all right. See, game level easy is default, so I'm just not changing the default before anybody gives me crap about uh, playing the game on easy. Um, all right. And then I just like the default weapon options that are like the same as uh, the original Gradius, so I don't mess with those. And then uh, same for the shield. I just like the original shield. I don't, I don't actually know the difference between the shield and the force field. I just, uh, I, I just I like to stick with the original. So. Try to get that speed up as quickly as possible. Or a couple of them. I didn't, I didn't mean to get the second one, so that's not good. Uh, this is really good. The next one I try to pick up is the laser, and then after that, it's just options all the way. Right, there we go. But uh, I only wanted one speed power up, and I accidentally have two, so um, I don't know how well this is going to go. I mean, we can play, we can try playing the game a couple of times. I'm already making excuses for poor gameplay that hasn't occurred yet, so... But you can see, like, right there when that Sand Dragon comes out, uh, if you're playing just the original ROM, uh, you would get slowdown already right there. And you can see that there isn't any. And I want to say that this game has been sped up slightly so that it's the same speed as the arcade. But, I mean, you can see the game is running quite smoothly. And, uh, again, you just, if you have a, a 
some kind of super everdrive or sd to snes um, you can just patch the rom and play it that way obviously you can just play it in your emulator of choice um, or apparently uh, there are people making cartridges uh, using a donor cartridge that has an sa1 chip in it but um, you know, then you're sacrificing some other game in order to play this one but i mean i don't even know what game people are sacrificing maybe it's something crappy and I saw someone say we need to get to the bubbles. I mean, bubbles is the next level after this, so I think we should be able to get to the bubbles. Well. All right, so uh, now we're just going to go through some more of the same thing from the first level, and then it's going to be Bubble City. So, uh, so now we're just trying to uh, pick up some more options here if we can. Uh, obviously a force actually maybe I'm gonna try to get a force field first because uh, these bubble areas can, can turn into a real mess so let's just get the shield right now and then now we'll try to get uh, another option if we can and this was another place uh bubble section here where you would get really bad slowdown because you, know, you shoot these bubbles and they make smaller bubbles and so before you know it you would just have uh, a crap ton of sprites on the screen and, oh no and um and it was just too much for um uh, too much for the super nintendo to handle really Boy, the one thing I hate about this game is that once you lose all your power, uh, you are in a bad way. So. Boy, Derek was asking about that asking cat. Boy, I can sure use that one. Oh, I didn't shoot him. take the control. Oh, man. This is a bad place to not have any power-ups. Uh, someone says you hope they do more improvements like this. That same guy is already working on, uh, like, doing something similar. I was pressing the button! Uh, we're playing some more. Um, doing the same thing to, to some other games, so... Didn't Gradius 3 use a modified version of the Konami code? I could I could be wrong, but my memory is that with this game, if you pause the game and put in the Konami code, it kills you. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, we can try it and see what happens. Here, I'll try it right now and see what happens. But uh, Oh yeah, use L and R set left and right, so... Uh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, stop. Oh, Sweet. Shooting for the game. I think you can only do that once, uh, like, per game, though. Like, not per life, but rather per game. Um, these guys are catch up on the back, which is cheap. I need some turbo, man. Look at that, it's ridiculous. The amount of crap being thrown at you. Oh, crud. was a really bad spot to die in because these guys suck. Oh, you know what? There was a secret area that we missed, too. 
That sucks. I wish we could go back now. That's too bad. The secret area was cool. There was like a little break in the gelatinous sides there where you can you can actually duck in there and you go to like this area where you can get like extra lives and whatnot. an area where it's better if you have to double instead of the... Instead of the oh, I slipped. The bubble level is... Well, the bubble level is hard either way. So. Oh, we're not going to make it. Oh, my goodness. Anybody else's butt butthole clinched tightly as, as mine was? saying that mine was clenched tighter than a snare drum. Is the point that I was Get out of here. Oh. Alright. Uh, we're going to continue and use the cheat code again because I'm having a good time. Yeah, Josh says, can you imagine if this game had run at this speed when it was first released? Absolutely. Put in the cheat code again real quick. We want to change our weapon and get a double as soon as we can. You gotta be kidding me, dude. See you, Pete. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, do you guys hear that plosive? That's why I got a new microphone. Like, this microphone is good enough for uh, live streaming, but other than that, I'm over it. It's funny, because, you know, I had some people that were kind of hating on me for starting the Patreon. I'm like, he already has a good microphone. Why does he need another one? Because uh, the new one is way better. That was the part where it got all stupid fast, but I went up there. Oh, sucker face. Do the Konami code again. You can only do the Konami code, I think, once per game. Like if I go up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, so nothing happened. Oh, 
este latido forgot about that guy that's going to be hard at full speed uh because that there's slowdown that definitely helps you damn it i need a double there oh good now we can cheat again thanks rob appreciate it do we have any continue still? Or no, we got game over. Oh no, we still got one. All right, we got one. Uh, hmm. force field this time. Um, and then I, let me just pause it and, and check in with you guys real quick. Um, I probably missed way too much stuff. Oh, I didn't miss too much stuff. putting on a clinic hardly I wish I was putting on a clinic super R-type is good but I've always liked Gradius 3 a lot more I agree um, I like R-type but I'm not like bit head level of in love with R-type uh, they're good games but I've, I'm like Gradius life force uh, kind of guy ooh Noel's gonna go play some Soul Calibur good choice my friend Have I ever beaten this game? No. Um, I wish. Oh, uh, so we gotta go up, up, down, down, L R L R B A. Try not to lose it after three seconds. I mean, what I'm really worried about is that boss again anyway, because with that little zigzag laser that that boss does, uh, and not having any slowdown, we're going to have to have some fast reflexes. And I fear that I'm just too old. God, it does that too. It's not hard. It's just like you have to have the pattern memorized. I mean, it is. Oh. 
damn it. We're getting there, though. Um, sorry, what are people saying? Um, crystal is it crystallis, crystallis? I don't know what do people say. I, yeah, someone mentioned that before that I should, um, uh, play that, play through that one. You know, Corey wanted, Corey told me that if I picked a game to play through to completion, like we did with Zelda 2, that he would come sit in on the streams with me. So, um, I would like to do that, you know, but then I kind of haven't been streaming as much, obviously, lately. So, um, I haven't done that. A lot of that is that normally I don't have the house to myself on Tuesdays. Uh, it's just sort of like, not co well, yeah, it's coincidence that today's Tuesday. I have the house to myself. And then, you know, on Monday for the anniversary stream, I won't have a house for myself. It's not a requirement, it's just a preference. God Slayer is a way better name than... I mean, Chris Dallas is cool. God Slayer sounds awesome. Oh, dang it. Oh, well. All right, that's game over. So now what are we going to do? It is fast. It just takes practice, you know? Um, well, I still got the stack of games here that we didn't even check out because we've been playing um, uh, SD to SNES games all night, with the exception of uh, Rival Turf. Well, we've only played three games, I guess. So. Uh, why does it ask you if you're a girl or a guy and what your horror? Like, what's the point of that? That's weird. So what? Somebody tell me what we're doing. Um, otherwise, uh, remember we got uh, just to recap. I have F Zero, Pilot Wings, and Super Turrican. So uh, we could play any of those. Uh, Super Adventure Island. Hmm. 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 I want to see if any if that I want to see if any of those three games tickle anyone's fancy. All right, John Gabriel says we could play. Uh, oh, then someone else says, "Oh my God, everybody's voting for everything." So, um, wait, what's whose favorite game? Oh my God, people are rattling off way too many things. Um, all right, I'm playing a little bit of F Zero just because I like it. We're not gonna. We don't have to play too much of it. But, you know, I brought it all the way down here, so you got to play a little bit. See, if I was going to play... Here's my thing. If I was going to play Adventure Island, I would rather play uh, New Adventure Island on the Turbo Graphics. I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm going to say it again because it's a nice memory. But, um, you know, the launch of the Saturn was um, my first video that really did well. Like, I uploaded it and was like, whoa, this actually did really well. And, um, and I released that on Christmas morning of whatever year that was. And, uh, and then that day I started working on the launch of the Super Nintendo and uh, the first game that I recorded the gameplay footage for was this game and that, that's what I did that day is I just well I'm going to need some F-Zero footage and so I spent Christmas uh, Christmas Day just sitting up at my desk not the whole day mind you but um, I spent ooh, sucker uh, I spent quite a bit of time uh, just sitting there um, playing F-Zero and that's just like a really nice memory because it was a nice way to spend uh at least a couple hours or something on because you could imagine like right back in uh back in 91 that's probably how a lot of people spent their christmas days is uh you know playing their new super nintendo that maybe they got for christmas that year and maybe they got maybe they got f-zero so uh zero now i can't say the word zero on my show 
stupid back markers. And you know something fun or uh, something funny about this game, it, like uh, this game's easy enough that I don't feel like you really have to do anything special. And it's funny like how many viewers like were bothered by the fact that when I hit those jump pads or whatever they're called, I was just letting my my vehicle just thunk back onto the track. Uh, Cause you know, you hold down and then you have like a soft landing and like it, you know, like go like that, see, and it's a softer landing. You know, and how like that shaves like, you know, a half a second or something off or whatever. And it just like, uh, I just thought it was funny that so many people were bothered by it. And then for some reason, not too long ago, uh, Joe from GameSack was playing this game on his show. I don't know if it was like a playing with Sax episode or if he was doing some kind of review. I don't remember what the episode was about. And he did the same thing I was doing. Like he wasn't holding down down uh, on the D-pad. And like I, I just saw, I didn't read through all the comments, but I just saw like one of the higher up comments was somebody saying they, like I can't believe how many people don't know that you're supposed to hold down down. It's because... This game has rubber band AI, dude. Like, you don't have to be particularly good at the game or particularly bad at the game for it to really affect your final results all that much. So, and I said that uh, in the launch of the Super Nintendo episode, that it's just like, this game really de-incentivizes de good driving um, because it has that rubber band AI. So it's like, yeah, I could hold down the down button and have softer landings and have a slightly faster lap time but what is that really going to get me? Like it's the the second place guy is still right behind me. So Yeah, people do love to be bothered by anything. That's absolutely the truth. Yeah, all the way yeah, I brought him all the way down to the basement. It was two floors down. It's far. I haven't played this game in a while, so I don't really have the tracks memorized anymore. Why is the microphone so far away all of a sudden? Did I scoot over or something? I always like the music on this track too. Can you guys hear the music okay? I, I feel like this uh, this game sounds quieter in my ears uh, coming through my headphones. This game sounds quieter than the other ones that we were playing. Um, so if I need to turn it up, just tell me. And anybody who's reaching for their iPhone, you don't have to. That was, that was me getting it. Email. Maybe it was that guy's sticker and coaster order. Which would be good because that would give me an excuse to go to the post office and mail everybody's postcards tomorrow. Ooh. Hey! Well, you guys don't care about that. Never mind. Well, I'll just say it just, to, just so we have something to talk about. I'm very excited about this. So I have an original Apple II computer. Like, not a 2 Plus or a 2E. Just a 2, like from the late 70s. And I've had it in a box forever uh, because it's broken. Like the, a common problem with those uh, early Apple IIs is that the keyboard encoder chip would go bad, and there was no replacement. And uh, there was some company that was making a replacement for a while, and they stopped. And uh, I sent them an email and, and asked, like, if they're ever going to start making it again. And they said, "Well, join our email list and whatever, you know." And that was like two years ago. And so every time for the last two years, every time I ever get an email from those people, I'm always reading it like, oh, is it the keyboard encoder chip? And it never is. And then last week I got an email from them that they have, a, they have like a few or something uh, keyboard encoder chips to sell. And so I immediately got on my computer and ordered one. And so now I can fix my original Apple II and get that working again. Because uh, that would be cool. I mean, I don't... To be very honest, I don't check the views on the videos I upload over on this channel 
So like I did that, um, I did that video about my Tandy 1000 and I did a video about my Amiga and I don't really know if those are popular or not because I don't check the views, but uh, I wanted to do one for like my Apple II GS, but it would be a lot cooler to um, do one for my uh, uh, original Apple II. So what's going on? Did I miss a troll or something? I didn't order two. No, I didn't. Um, I mean, this this is. I think this is a modern replacement, so I don't think um, the one that I bought hopefully shouldn't go bad. So I mean, they were forty. It was forty bucks. So I, I mean, ordering two would be a lot of money. I mean, the eight bit guy. I'm sure I could have. Although I don't know. I mean, Apple twos and Apple two pluses are both pretty sought after systems. So finding someone that has one to part out. Uh, might be difficult and I mean you'd just be buying another old chip that was prone to failure so hopefully this one's better but I mean uh, I have like three Apple II's because I have an app I have, I have that one the original two and then I have a 2C and a 2GS so uh, I was really in no hurry to fix that computer uh, just because I'm not really gaining anything by having it except just sort of the experience of, of having the original Apple II. I used to have an Apple II C Plus, or Apple II Plus, well, both. I had an Apple II Plus, and I sold it. And I, I've also had an Apple II C Plus, and I sold that. I'm not that into the II. The II C Plus, for anybody that doesn't know, the Apple II C has a built-in five and a quarter inch drive. The Apple II C Plus has a built-in three and a half inch drive. But like most Apple II games, the vast majority of Apple II games, uh, are on five and a quarter inch discs. And so if you have an Apple IIc Plus, you're gonna have to hook up an external drive. Although now I have a, a floppy drive emulator for my Apple II, so it doesn't really matter anymore. But I still like using the original discs. So. But I mean, I think I have a pretty cool story of how I got my, my original Apple II, and so like that would be cool to talk about on the show, but you know. I don't, you know, like the flashback episodes are really the meat and potatoes of this channel. And, you know, with something like an Apple II, or Apple II, any Apple II, it's not a system I had back in the day, so I'm not really telling, like, memories from back then. So, um, maybe that's why those videos are not that popular. I don't know. I feel like pretty much any, any video I upload on this channel gets about the same amount of views. So, like, even the live stream... Uh, archives, they all get about like two to three thousand views, which um, which I'm quite happy with. I'm not complaining. Um, although the How to Clean Video Games one didn't get that many views, but I didn't think it would. I don't know. I don't know why I made that video, except it's just something I've been thinking about, whoops, uh, doing for a long time, and I just figured I could make that video and then upload it and have it be just unlisted. And that way I could release it while I was on vacation. So that was kind of my, my thinking with that. That's what you call using all of the track. Check the chat room once once we cross the finish line here. Oh crap. Oh, we're good. I was afraid I just lost first place. Alright. There's a PlayStation VR version of Wipeout. That would be cool. How, I mean, are is the PSVR cheap now? Like, I mean, I have a PS4. 
but um, I've never in my life messed around with VR at all. But uh, it would be cool. I mean, because I have my PS4 set up uh, right over here, and I have my um, steering wheel set up and everything on there. But because you can, can't you play Gran Turismo in VR? Or, there's some driving game you can play in VR, right? So, um, Ryan says you've been sleeping to GameSack playing all night the past week. Yeah, GameSack's a really cool channel. Even without, you know, I know with Dave being gone, you know, people, some people kind of made a big deal about that, I guess, or whatever. But, um, Dave was very cool. I'm not saying I'm happy to see him go because I'm not, but uh, I, I think that Joe really is the heart of that show, and uh, I think the show is just fine uh, with just Joe. I mean, he, yeah, I, I like him a lot, so. All right, Shane does not have a positive experience. with. That's my thing with VR is I'm worried about exactly that. Like, I think it's going to make me sick, so. Um, Casey says, I can't believe how much I enjoy watching game stream videos. When streaming first became a thing, I thought it was the dumbest idea ever. Uh, I agree. I thought Twitter was the dumbest thing ever when that was a thing. Uh, I always thought YouTube was cool, I guess. But yeah, I thought streaming was, like, who wants to watch somebody stream, you know? But uh, but it's funny, because I was actually talking to one of my coworkers about that today, about streaming, and I was kind of explaining to her why it's cool and uh she got it so but i mean she's kind of a gamer so it makes sense anyway um ooh, the new ace combat has vr missions that'd be cool oops gotta go. was this this is the one that has the wind right See, about the rubber band day, I like I'm not even driving well, and I'm in first place. You know, like it makes it less than sad. That's, that's why I like playing games like the F1 games or Project Cars. Like, you know, trying to trying to shave a tenth of a second off of my lap time or something. Which uh, I still like. To, I mentioned in Discord, I, I still would like to do that. Like, I want to play. Um, I want to play Project Cars one night for for a stream. Like I can drag the setup that's over there. Like I can bring it over here and just set up my little table in front of my desk here. Maybe kind of awkward, but it'd be all right. I don't know. I mean, I think some people probably won't think that's cool. But you know, on any given night, I can stream anything, and some people aren't gonna think it's cool. So I mean, you can't please everybody. But um, uh, I think it was Ryan in the Discord that was saying, like, you know, we'll hang out in the chat and talk about cars. And um, the idea that I had was I was going to just drive around the same track with a bunch of different cars uh, just so we could kind of check out uh, just how it's different. Uh, you know, just driving on this one track with, like, a, you know, car like F1 cars from different eras. That was my idea, anyway. I was gonna do that tonight, and I just felt like I don't know. I didn't think that was a good way to spend um, the first live stream back in a while, and then of course the next uh, the next live stream is gonna be um, the anniversary stream. So, Yeah, no, I'll definitely um, check out Virtua Racing. Um, I usually buy all those games. Um, is that an M2 release? I always buy the M2 releases. You should try Assetto Corsa. Yeah, I kind of want to. I want to pick up that. And I have the original Project Cars. I don't have Project Cars 2. And I've been kind of waiting, like deciding whether or not I want to get uh, F1 uh, 2019. I haven't picked that one up yet either. Um, 
Casey says, you think you get enjoyment out of watching someone else struggle at the same parts I struggle at? Hey, I, I can probably find some new places to struggle at, so... Um... Mike wants to know if you can get a preview of the next flashback. Yeah, I mean, so if you weren't here already, so the next flashback already got uploaded, but right now it's just um, like early release for patrons. So, uh, but it'll be public on Friday. So it's not a very long wait. And uh, it's just, it's not that long of an episode. Like most of them are like an hour. This one's only like 40 minutes long. And it's just me talking about uh, when Stuart got the Genesis and then subsequently I got my Genesis. So uh, that's what that one is about. Is there a live... Chris, is there a live chat room set up in your Discord? Yeah, Morpheus, there is. Yeah, if you join the Discord, that's... I mean, that's what it is, is um, it's a chat room. Uh, Mike, how do you get on Patreon? So you just go to... If you go to patreon.com slash cgquarterly, um, basically you sign up and you'll contribute... Uh, one dollar a month and for that uh like the only really benefit you get is that i release all my episodes on both channels a few days early um for patreon uh supporters uh morpheus says we can voice chat no you can't voice chat uh you can just it's like what we have here like with this like i i may i mainly set it up because like you know people were having all these lively conversations in the the live stream chat and then, um, you know, the live stream would be over and then people couldn't really chat anymore. And I remember one time, you know, somebody, what really got me to do it is it bummed me out that one time somebody said, like, is anybody going to hang out and chat? Uh, cause I guess that's a thing you can do. And then nobody even responded because everybody else had already left. And I just thought, man, there should be a place where people can all hang out and chat. And so that's why I started, uh, the discord. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Um, I guess the other thing I would just say to Mike, uh, Mike Kim, you can if you're all you can become a member of one of the two channels, and then you also get uh, early access uh, to all the videos. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't like talking about this stuff because then somebody will say I'm being an e-bagger or something. Oh, I always like the graphics in this one. Uh, the backgrounds look cool. Is this the one that has the little shortcut you can take? Yep, there it is right there. Oh, but I missed the turn. That shortcut only works if you can get yourself lined up for that little uh, jump plate. Oh, and this, this is... Oh, I screwed it up royally. That's like my favorite, uh, I don't know, sequence of turns in like all of F-Zero. But I'm way out of practice. I got pretty good at this uh, level when I was playing the crap out of it for the Super Nintendo launch episode. Which a few people seem to enjoy. I think like that... That sequence of turns is like one of the only times in F-Zero where you actually have to hit the brakes instead of just using the little left and right air brakes. Sorry, I was staring at the wrong thing. Let's try going this way again. Ooh, don't hit those things. Alright, now we're just... Now we're just screwing up royally. Because now I have the turbo thing going. Ooh, we're going to blow up pretty soon. So that's exciting. Let's see if we can do it in here. I think we're screwed. I feel like I was in the zone and then I stopped and chatted too much. Sure. 
what I'm talking about, rubber band AI, like how badly are we racing? And I'm in freaking second place. It's ridiculous. Yeah, see, I got first place and I completely drove like trash. Oh, Derek says you have a fan. Is it fan is it fanatic or fanatech? Yeah, I would love to have um, those. When I was at um, on my vacation, you know, I was I was at the Porsche Museum one day, and they have these simulators you can drive, and they have like the top level fanatic uh, wheel in it. Man, they they feel really good. So. Oh, Samuel Rivera, what's up, man? You say it like fanatic. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's the way you're supposed to say it. But, uh... All right. Is that the last track of that? Uh, yeah, I think so. So, would, would people be like super pissed if I wanted to play some pilot wings or how do people feel about that? I mean, I do these streams for you guys, so if I play something and everybody gets mad, then what was the point? All right, Rob says play it. I'm doing it. Oh, and Smoke says play it. So if Smoke Monster says it, that's what's happening. Hey, Smoke, uh, I saw that you said on, I think it was on Twitter, you said you recapped your vacuum tube microphone. Um, I would like to know more about that. And I would like to hear that in action. my god like the number of people uh on the in the comment section of the super nintendo video who who said like the first rule of flight club is you don't talk about flight it's everybody thinks they're the first person to say it because they can't see you know there's so many comments you know but like i see all of them um although uh mike yes this was a launch game um i actually made it um so that I can't see the comments on the videos on my main channel when I go to my dashboard uh, unless I click another link because that, that way I don't look at the comments on my videos unless I actually want to go to the little community thing and read the comments and I'm so much happier because now I can be in the right mindset okay I'll go read the comments and if somebody's being a jerk it's okay but you know like the um, the bookmark like on my toolbar on my web browser like if I just wanted to go to YouTube and watch a video, I just click that, but it would take me straight to my dashboard and I would see these comments and it would just like put me in a bad mood. And like this way, at least like I have to consciously decide uh, to uh, read the comments. So I feel a lot happier now. So, um, yeah, Smoke Monster, like getting all the settings set up cor correctly can be difficult. Um, I don't know if you watch Booth Junkie. But um, that's my uh, YouTube channel of choice for, for things like um, setting up microphones and stuff. Like, he's a voiceover guy, but I mean, it, the the uh, all the stuff he talks about is the same, right? It's like how to set up microphones. Like, he has things for... Oh, Dumpin' Chase was here. I didn't even see that you were here. Well, um, thanks, for, thanks for being here. Okay, maneuver A, scoring B. All right, I gotta remember do this but um uh you know he has videos talking about like you know compressor settings noise gate settings etc etc uh mike wants to know do you ever plan to do a youtube video with another youtuber uh i don't know i mean i kind of like i like having guests come on the live streams but um other than that i don't know i mean you know one of my favorite videos if not my favorite video that i ever did was my um 
uh, oh, too low, um, was the launch of the Sega Master System. And part of the reason I thought that video was so great was having the other people on there with me. So uh, I definitely enjoyed that. But, um, you know, that, that was kind of a specific situation where I felt like having those people on there uh, made the video better than what I could have, um, which one's the break? Oh, this one. Uh, better than I could have made it myself. So, um, but there's not too many cases where I would feel that way. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, Booth, Booth Junkie definitely has guides for, uh, gate, gates and compressors, but, but for applying them, uh, after you've recorded um, if you need something like a noise gate and a compressor for like live streams, there's there's a thing you can buy that's not very expensive. But if it's for like videos that you're producing, like scripted videos, like what I make, uh, you don't want to apply that stuff um, while you're recording because you can't undo it. Like you can always apply compression and noise gates and EQ after you know after you've recorded it, you know, you can apply that to your raw audio. So that's kind of what you want to do is just have your raw audio. But, um, uh, but yeah, if you were looking for a solution, like for your live streams, then, uh, there's stuff you can get. So, um, yeah, noise gates are tough because you don't want someone to be able to tell that you're using one. And I think I've gotten pretty good at that. Like all my flashback videos have a noise gate, but I just make it so it lowers the audio during the quiet parts like if I'm breathing or something rather than completing uh, completely cutting out it just like lowers it by 10 or 15 dB so that it doesn't sound bad um, Josh says you like to see a bit head video in the middle I would love to be in the shed during a bit head video even if I just didn't even say anything um, that'll, that'll, that of course will never happen but uh, uh, I would enjoy that. Yeah, Smoke, you know, if you ever have any questions about that kind of stuff, you know, you just reach out. I would love to be able to help you with that, or anybody for that matter. Uh, all right, so we only got an 85 there because uh, we missed... Um, we, we missed one of the, the, the big balls, and so I think that cost us a point. And then I guess our time wasn't very good. I should have hit the gas and gone faster, so... Ying, how, how do you say that? I forgot. Yingling, I forgot how to say it. I'm not saying that right, probably. But, um, yeah, continue. I've never had one. I'd like to try one. I don't know. Maybe I can I get that on the East Coast, like next time I'm in the East Coast. Like, I don't know how far, how far of a reach does that uh, beer company have? I said a perfect yingling. All right. All right, let's do it. Usually this is my worst event is the, the parachute. So we only need, uh, yeah, you can't, you cannot get yingling here. I mean, I'm not saying that as a representative of the West Coast, but I'm saying at least in Northern California, I've never seen it anywhere. These free fall things, it's like once you, um, I guess we can open the parachute then, right? Not yet. It tells you when you can open the parachute. Like if you miss one of the free fall rings or whatever, it seems like you're, you're just going to miss all of them. So now I think we just need to land anywhere in here. I think one time, uh, I landed on one of those moving things and it wasn't even on purpose. I don't like the way this is shaping up. Oh, the wind is taking us places I don't want to go. Oh, we're gonna end up not somewhere good. 
great landing, but not in a good spot. But we only needed 35 points, so hopefully we're okay. Yeah, they got 50, so... Why is that guy all mad? Look at his face. He's making like a not nice face. I haven't played Grand Theft Auto 5. I really didn't like Grand Theft Auto 4. And it kind of turned me off to the series a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Like, I... You know, well, I mean... That's true, I, but at the same time, I also... I just don't have time to sink into, like, a... You know, one of these sandbox games anymore. Uh, I mean, I used to be able to spend so much time playing, you know... Grand Theft Auto, Saints Row, Red Dead Redemption, or whatever. And, um, not anymore. Ronnie says, I always wonder what your day job is. It's something very technical. Like, I'll tell you what my day job is, because I don't hide it, but I am curious to know first what makes you think it's something technical. Just, I'm just curious. Oh, wow, Smoke, the first time you ever played Super Nintendo was Pilot Wings and Super Mario World. That's pretty cool. Oh, Ryan ru ruined it. That's all right. I still love you, Ryan. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny. I mean, I think it only had three games at launch, but it's like you couldn't really go wrong uh, with any of them. Clay says Vice City is the best. My favorite is uh, San Andreas. Vice City's awesome, though. I'm not... I got, that's a great game, but uh, I, I... I just have a lot of great memories playing San Andreas. Like, I had a, a thing where I was starting a new job, but um, it was like I quit my old job before Christmas and then took two weeks off and then started my new job. And of course, my wife wasn't home the whole two weeks. And so I remember I pretty much spent the entire two weeks sitting in a lazy. I used to have a lazy boy. I don't have it anymore. Um, all right, to fly through the three rings and then land on the runway. Um, uh, I had a lazy boy in my game room, and I just spent the whole two weeks in that lazy boy playing San Andreas uh, with my cat either on my lap or he used to like to get on top of the recliner behind my head and listening to uh, what was at the time the, a new Coldplay album, which is what like, I'm not really a huge Coldplay fan, but that I really like that album. Oh, we kind of landed. Okay, that was not a good landing, but we didn't crash, so I'll take it. Landing okay. All right, Ronnie, fair enough. They're saying, oh, well, you're just super nerdy, so that's why. Um... B. Simpson, you need to find an old PS2. Yeah, it's, somehow I went from having one PS2 to quickly having three PS2s. Uh, I have like a... Um, it's not a modded PS2. It has like the soft mod or whatever, but I can't figure out how to use it, so... Uh, it's, it's too complicated. I don't really need it. You know, I was going to use it to play PS1 games, but I have a PS1 with a mod chip in it, so I mean, I can just burn games. Um... Mike says, whatever happened to Stuart? Uh, I mean, he's still around. We just don't live, you know, he lives, uh, he lives over on the coast and to the south. So, you know, it's like one of those things where like, you know, we're Facebook friends, but that means absolutely nothing. Um, I like to think that if we live closer to each other, we'd still be friends. I mean, we didn't, we just kind of lost contact, you know, I, I, I don't want to say much more than that only because I will talk about that a little bit on, um, actually the very... Well, not the next episode of Flashback you're going to see, but the next episode of Flashback that I'm going to record. So, um, you know, you'll kind of see how um, Stuart exited my life, sadly. All right, what are we going to do here? All right. Okay, got it. Okay, so we got to get through all of these rings. Which I'm not doing a good job so far. great music. Full speed ahead. Got it. Alright, and the last 
one was over this way. Are you saying something, something's wrong with the audio of the stream or something's wrong with the audio of something else? Did something happen to the audio all of a sudden? Someone tell me. Um, yeah, no, I have a, I have a hard drive in, um, I have a hard drive in my PS2. I just, I don't like you turn on the PS2 and it's got like different options of different loaders you want to use. And like, you can load things off the hard drive and you can load things off of the, Ooh, nice landing. Uh, and you could load things off USB and it, it's just, I'm just, you know, I found, Ooh, perfect score. Nice. Uh, I just kind of found, um, uh, I found like the limit of my intelligence with that PS2. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I don't have a, an IDE to USB adapter to put more games on it. I need to get one of those. Uh, hey, speak of the devil. I was wondering where, where you were, DeForte. Um, thanks for the contribution, but thanks even more for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, you missed the stream. We haven't missed the whole stream. I don't know how much longer. Basically, my wife's going to text me when she's on her way home. But it's going to take her like a half hour to get here. So, I mean, I'm going to just keep streaming until um, until she tells me she's on her way. Uh, and uh, I don't know if the person is still watching, but um, I got your sticker and coaster order. So, thank you. I'll get that out tomorrow. Um, yeah, you can install a program that lets you FTP games to your PS2. I don't know. People were kind of uh, talking some smack about that online, saying it sucked. So, I, you know, that kind of made me not even want to try messing around with the... Um, FTP. I mean, it's easy enough to get the IDE to USB adapter. So, um, get a SATA adapter and mod your network. See, here's the thing. If I had like all the time in the world, I would do that. Like that's exactly the kind of thing I would have done. Cause I used to love doing stuff like that, uh, before I started my YouTube show. And it's just, I just don't have, you know, I have so many little projects around here that I want to do, but at the end of the day it's just like i would rather be working on my channel it's not like oh i don't have time because i have to work on my channel like i i want to work on my channel so i mean that's why i don't do other stuff so at this point it's like easier to throw money at the problem and just like i'm sure i can buy a network adapter on ebay that's already had the sata uh mod done to it and so i you know as monetarily wasteful as that seems it's just like easier Ooh, see now we're, we've gone off the rails here so might be able to get through this one though. alright we only screwed up one that's not so bad but that's still not great yeah, Daryl, I'm glad you like having the early releases. I kind of, um, oh, we are going to die. Maybe we can get 35 points out of that? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, we got 12. That's awful. Um, yeah, not a lot of people actually watch the content early on Patreon, um, which kind of made me think that you know, maybe I shouldn't keep doing it, but that's not fair to patrons, so I'm going to keep doing it. Um, oh, Ryan, you're saying I can just buy one for 20 bucks that already has that mod done to it? Could you put... Um, yeah, I'll try again. Um, can I put an SSD in there then? Because that would be sweet. All right, so sorry. We're going to have to redo these three things all over again, but they're fun anyway, so... Um, I'm going to do the, this is what I used to do when I play this game. You do the hardest one first. So we'll do skydiving first. Well, I think I saw the, the advantage to the SSD just being maybe it's something that's not going to break. Like I, I feel like back in the day, mechanical hard drives were like really good quality. Like I still have a hard drive I bought in like 1992 and it still works. But these days you buy a brand new mechanical drive and it's like broken a year later. And so it's not, I wasn't going to buy the SSD because I thought that uh, somehow it would be like faster loading times or something. I just figured, well, it would be quieter. Oh, I don't really care about that that much, but I just figured um, it would uh, hopefully last a little bit longer. 
Tell me if this is making you sick. I just feel like not touching the D-pad is kind of working out for not um, missing any of the rings. Tricky. Ooh. Landed but broken legs. Uh, CJ's here. Long time, first time. Well, thanks, man. Thanks for showing up. Um, I, I appreciate you saying thank you, but if it wasn't for you guys watching the show, there wouldn't be a, so, a show. So, um, so thank you right back. We got 60 points, though, so it's, like, good enough, right? Like, that wasn't a good landing, but, um, let's see what we can do in the plane. Because the rocket belt's pretty easy, so... Um, as long as we don't screw up the plane, uh, I think we should be good to go. People call this game a tech demo, but I really don't think that's fair. You know, I mean, yes, the game does show off, uh, the... The mode 7 and everything, but I mean, I don't think it's really fair to call it a tech demo just on the back of that. Ooh, that wasn't bad. Okay, though, or great? Okay. I don't like okay, but it's good enough. Um, yeah, here, I'm gonna... I wanna click this link that Ryan put up here real quick just so that I can look at it later, so... Awesome. Otherwise, I'll forget, so... Um, yeah, so I think I might uh, score one of those and then because I mean SSDs are so cheap now uh, Like fries like always has one of the uh, Samsung uh, SSDs on sale so I mean I can just pick that up and um, And pick that thing up and I think that would really help because I think uh, the problem I was really having was trying to uh, load games off of the USB uh, I don't think loading them off the hard drive shouldn't be a big deal so Wait, why do, why do you say that? Put PS1 on USB, like, just to keep things neat and tidy? Or is there, like, a like a reason? Like, I'm, I'm super clueless with this stuff. So if there's, like, a reason for doing that, you gotta tell me or I'm not gonna know. You're going the wrong way, buddy. Come on, back this way. Sweet. I'm just trying to get a good time because we don't have a whole lot of room for error here. Don't you watch your attitude. But I'm saying, can I just put PS1 and PS2 games on the hard drive? Um, well, Josh, sometimes I think somebody can just, like, see a comment that you left on somebody else's video, and that just might make them want to subscribe to you or something. Like, I don't, maybe they just thought you were cool. So, maybe they're hoping you'll upload something someday. So, if you use OPL, I'm pretty sure it uses OPL. Like, when you, what, really, Josh? Because you always leave rude comments on my show. Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, when I turn on the system, OPL is one of the options, so I guess I can just use that. Um, and then Gerald wants to know, no, I don't have, I don't really have contact with Stuart anymore, but, like, I think I could, like, I could just, I could reach out to him on Facebook, like, and it would be, 
you know, it's like I've seen him like since I've been an adult, like because I've been down where he lives and I've just kind of met, you know, kind of hooked back up with him. I mean, you're still talking about probably over 10 years ago, but like I, you know, I got to go visit with him and his sister and his mom, like his parents ended up getting a divorce after I, after we kind of quit hanging out. So I didn't get to see his dad, but. Yeah, Josh, you should do game reviews, actually. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, oh, good. It's Lance. I'm almost out of Kool-Aid. Use OPL Manager on your... P okay, li listen. I'm going to... When I'm going to do this, obviously, I'm going to hop in the Discord and you're going to help me with this because you obviously know... You've got your finger on the pulse of the modded PS2 community and obviously I know nothing, so... Um, because I didn't even know OPL Manager was a thing either. So that, that sounds like something I'm going to want. Uh, to be honest, I'm not even really that interested in having the modded PS2 for playing PS2 games. It's more for playing PS1 games. Although, whenever it is that I do um, the launch of the PS2, uh, it's going to be nice to have that. Because I don't have all the launch games, although I have quite a few of them. Um yeah, Mike keeps bringing up Purple Saurus Rex. I haven't seen Purple Saurus Rex for sale in a long time, but uh, all it is, you get yourself uh, a gallon-sized pitcher instead of two quarts. Fill it up with water, one pack of grape Kool-Aid, one pack of lemonade Kool-Aid, and congrats, you just made Purple Saurus Rex. So uh, nobody tell the Kool-Aid Corporation that I'm giving away all their trade secrets, but... Uh, hang glider is the toughest here, so I'm going to do that one. Yeah, smoke, I don't... Yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll see, but I mean, ultimately, I can just burn the games and play them on my modded PS1. It would just be easier if I had them on a hard drive, but if it's going to turn into a, a headache for me, then forget it. But, um... Yeah. Rob says, you just watched a normal DVD for the first time only after watching Blu-rays and it's terrible looking. So I, what I like, DVDs for me look really good on CRTs. Uh, I don't think they look so good on HDTVs. So, um, uh, yeah, like I have a DVD player set up in like my home office or whatever you want to call it. And um, I, I use it for watching like 4.3 content on a 4.3 CRT and, and it works great for that. Like I have a bunch of uh, like DVD sets of old TV shows and uh, I load that up on there and it looks so much clearer than, uh, than it looked on TV back in the day. So, I mean, I love that. But um, for watching movies, uh, yeah, probably, probably not so great, so. Where do we have to land? I don't even know where the freaking landing zone is. With the hot pink hang glider. But, but yeah, I, I've always thought this hang glider thing. Oh, there it is. That's going to be a problem. Uh, I think this hang glider is the hardest part of the game. I didn't push the right button to put my feet down. I pushed B. I think you have to push A. So, um, so that's why I like doing the hardest thing first, because now right here, uh, do you want to give up? Yes, because then you just hit retry, and, and now you can just do it again. So, Cigarette Juice Man, what's up? Um, glad to hear it's your favorite channel, man. That's awesome. CGQ Plus is your favorite channel? That's... It's kind of funny. I never thought when I started this channel that anybody was really going to watch it. So um, I feel like this channel has more dedicated fans than the main channel. So like I've said it before, like at some point, you know, I might want to retire from Classic Gaming Quarterly, but I just can't see myself ever not doing this show. Thank you, Daryl. You really don't have to, but it doesn't mean I don't appreciate it. But 
but uh, yeah, I'll put in. I'm gonna put in the, as soon as the stream's over. I'm gonna put in my order for that um, network adapter. Because, um, like I said, I can pick up. Uh, I can pick up a hard drive pretty cheap. In fact, you know, I think is there a limit? Well, so you know, while um, while we're talking about this, Ryan, is is there a limit to how big of a hard drive I can use with the soft modded PS2? Because I think I actually have like a two terabyte something like that it's like a terabyte or two terabytes hard drive sitting around here that i pulled out of a computer uh because i put in uh, uh an ssd uh, we're not gonna make it well maybe never say never yeah we're not gonna make it like chris rock says never say never i'm saying never um Use a 500 gig. Yeah, I mean, I just, I think I might have something uh, bigger around here. Hey, Truth Hurts, what's up? Um, Mike has 300 VHS tapes. That's awesome. I do, I don't, where is it? I think, yeah, it's back there. I still have my VCR. You can't see it, but there's a shelf back here. It has my VCR on it. But, um, you know, when I used to go to the thrift stores, uh, I used to look at the VHS tapes. Uh, just sometimes you'd find cool stuff, but I just don't go to thrift stores anymore. Uh, just because it's not really that, um, it's not really that fun for me anymore to go to thrift stores. So, uh, although it, even, I don't, I don't have room to start buying VHS tapes anyway. So I'm trying to have less of that kind of stuff, not more. So, yeah, Matthew, that was kind of my, that was my concern. But at the same time, if I already have the hard drive. Then if it doesn't see the whole thing, but I didn't have to pay for the hard drive because it's just something I was going to chuck in the e-waste bin anyways, then I guess it might be worth it. Um, all right, Jameson, we'll see you, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. Well, I'll just try that first. Like I'm just I'll buy that network adapter and then I'm going to format that hard drive and throw it in there, and then we'll just see what happens. I don't want to keep beating a dead horse, so I'm not going to keep trying to do this over and over again. we got plenty of other games we can play, too, so I don't think we're going to be able to make the landing this time either. Although, well, actually, I think we're pretty well lined up this time. We'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I remember to press the right button this time. We were lined up last time, too, damn it. Ooh, did I go too far? Ooh, oh, nice. All right, we're good. Well, let's see how many points that gets me oh that's good we, we can roll with that um yeah smoke I, I think it has the the free mcboot thing already going on in it so i don't um i mean it, it doesn't have a mod chip in it and i can play games that are not legit because it already has the hard drive in it with with some games on it so however that works um and daryl says do you ever watch any speed runs of games not really i mean i've watched some but um, it's kind of not... Mostly, I mean... Mostly the stuff I watch on YouTube is not gaming related. I mean, I already have a... Uh, I already have a gaming channel, right? So uh, I watch a little bit. Like, I watch GameSack or I'll watch My Life in Gaming. Uh, but for the most part, like, most of the stuff I watch online is, like, motor racing stuff or... Um, I've been trying to get into... Uh, like, I bought a keyboard. Like, a musical keyboard. Uh, cause I've always wanted to learn how to play the piano. So I bought a keyboard and so like now I'm watching all these like keyboarding videos and stuff. Um, so yeah. Rob, are you asking what kind of keyboard I got? Or are you even talking to me? Uh, Morpheus, who's your favorite NASCAR driver? Uh, I don't really watch NASCAR, so I don't really have a favorite driver, but... I always hate saying that because then someone's going to think that I'm like a snob. Like, I don't watch NASCAR. Like, I don't have a problem with NASCAR. I just... I don't have the bandwidth, I guess, to watch any more uh, racing series. Um, so, Rob, I got a Yamaha. It's, so, I got like a... It's like a mini keyboard. Like, I... You know, I wanted to kind of get into it and see if... See if I'm really into it before I buy a, a big one. But, like... So, what I got was a Yamaha Reface CS. 
So it's like a, it's like a, it, it's like an analog synth, right? Like it, it, um, like it's supposed to give you the experience of playing on an old analog synth from like the '70s or something. So you have all these little sliders, like faders on it and stuff, so that you can like dial everything in uh, to get like whatever sound you want, pretty much. And I kind of like that. Like I looked at the Reface DX, but that's like an FM synthesis thing, and I. I feel like you have to know more about FM synthesis than I know. Like, I don't know anything about FM synthesis. So, like, I would have no idea how to sit at, like, a Reface DX and, like, dial in any kind of sound whatsoever. But, like, I kind of under... I can wrap my brain around how, like, an analog synth works. And so I can kind of, like, create sounds out of that. And the other thing that's cool with that, like, what I really like is that... Uh, the CS has a square wave. Uh, gen like one of the things you can do is uh, square wave uh, for your oscillator, and so like I, you can very easily make the Reface CS sound uh, exactly like a PC speaker from back in the day. So like I, I got that dialed in and it had a square wave on there with no extra effects or oscillators or anything like that, and I had it sounding exactly like a PC speaker. And then I don't know why, because I'm not like a musician, but I was able to pretty quickly figure out how to play the intro to Space Quest 2. So I was having all kinds of fun doing that. So, all right, we got 80 points. So we're still kind of up against it a little bit, aren't we? Or maybe I'm wrong. How many points do we need? Oh, 55. That's not bad. We can do 55. All right, let's see what we can do. It would just be so cool if we could get to the first uh, helicopter mission, just because they're so out of place in this game. Um. So I just want to see what I might have missed. Um, chat's kind of slowed down, which maybe is good because then I'm not getting overloaded. Oh, Rob, use a Korg Radius synth. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, do you upload any videos on YouTube or anything, Rob? Or is it you just do it for personal enjoyment? If you do, you should send me a link. I, if you have a YouTube channel, I'd check it out. Just because I'm really into... Like, I started watching Dr. Mix. I don't know if anybody out there is familiar with Dr. Mix, but um, uh, I've been loving watching that guy's show. Do I have to undo the... Fifty-five points, but we're gonna have to like go out, and we have to go and turn. I'm worried, is all I'm trying to say. I'm a little bit worried. All right, we're doing all right. I can't look at the chat right now, though. I'm in the zone over here. Oh man, we're gonna have to climb a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you, my hands are a little bit sweaty. Uh, we're going to have to skip that one or I'm going to crash. I think, I think we'll be all right, though. pretty good because now we're going to be lined up for the landing. We'll only take a minor penalty for missing one ring. Dude, seriously? That's like a steep... Ooh, ooh. All right, that's... I mean, come on. That's 55 points, right? You have a SoundCloud? Well, you should still send me the link. All right, 70 points. We made it. Uh, I still, uh, I'd like to check it out. Ooh, Smoke Monster. Yeah, Smoke Monster's got a big Mister update coming soon. I saw that. I haven't I haven't dusted off the Mister in a while, but uh, that would give me um, 
that would give me a reason to. What is YouTube says your arms look heavy? I don't know what that means. Sorry. Palms are sweaty. Yeah, my palms are sweaty, man. That was, I was getting stressed out. See, I don't know about M I don't know about Eminem. Mom spaghetti? I could go for some of that right now. My mom used to make me spaghetti. <sighs> we have to do another one? I really wanted to get to the helicopter thing, damn it. Good old big Al. Well, we'll try. I gotta do four things this time. <sighs> I hope you guys don't have your heart set on the uh, helicopter thing. I love spaghetti squash. They made Xbox controllers with fans in them? I'm not surprised. Figure out how to get a fan into a Super Nintendo controller. Do I have to hit that thermal thing or no? What am I doing? I don't... Oh, that's what I'm doing. Ooh, you're not gonna make it. Oh, suck. That's a Kickstarter idea. That's funny. I saw somebody raging against Kickstarter today on Twitter. About how, like, you know, you shouldn't need anything like that, because that was my phone. No one check your phone. Um... You know, just get investors, go to the bank and get a loan. You know, it's the same kind of person who would, like, you know, give a guy like me crap for being an e-beggar, right? Like, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Whatever. Ooh, Derek's back. I didn't know Derek was gone. Yeah, Matthew, you're doing poorly. That's, uh, that is an accurate assessment of the situation as it is now. See how much trouble I get into. Wait, I have to land on that? Get lost. Oh, and we're going to get wet. All right. Um, loans can be hard to get. Yeah, loans can definitely be uh, hard to get. You sent me a picture of Teresa's fish. That's cool. Yeah, put it up on Discord. Let everybody see the fish. So here's the deal. Um, my wife just texted, said she's on her way. So uh, we got to kind of wrap it up. And it's been uh, it's been 30 minutes. There's no way we're going to get past this next part of Pilot Wings. I'm way too rusty. Um, so I think I'm going to turn the Super Nintendo off. And I'm going to switch back to... Hey. And um, I don't know. Anybody want to chat for a few minutes or something? Um What's going on with you guys? Um, it's funny because we still have like the, about the same number of people here, but um, the chat has just calmed down. Probably half those people. There's 150 in here. How many of those people are sleeping? But hey, you know, if my voice put you asleep, great. Um, yeah, hey, hey, Ryan just popped his uh, uh, band cherry. Um Oh boy, Daryl. Thank you very much. That's for the 30 minute stream time I got to catch. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You can always watch the rest of it on, uh, uh the archive, but, uh, thanks man. I appreciate it. So, um, 
Josh wants to know, was the Atari age poster back there during the live? No, it wasn't. The, so this there, sorry, everything's backwards. Um, for anybody that caught the video, uh, uh, Rory, uh, f- the fire rescue is his YouTube name. The fireman, uh, he sent me that cause I did that read through of the Atari age magazine and you could buy that poster in the magazine. And I just made like an offhanded remark that, Oh, it would be cool to get with that. You know, if you could, I, like, I didn't think you could still get it. I just figured like, you know, I was saying it would be cool to have that back in the day or I mean, it'd be cool to have it now too. And I guess he was able to find a place that prints them still. And so he, he sent me the poster, which was really awesome. And I told him that I was going to have it framed and then it took me forever to get it done. But, um, the place I go, they do a really good job because that poster. So when I got that poster, it had a white border around it just from the, the printing. Uh, they take the poster and they mount it to foam core board. Then they trimmed off all of the white. Then it's under glass and it's framed. The whole back is sealed and it's got the wire going across. And uh, and you see that it's hanging off the door. So I just used um, those sticky hooks because uh, I don't want to drill a hole in my door so and it seems like it's holding i feel like i don't know how many of you guys remember the one time we did the stream where i had a poster on that door and like during the stream the poster the the tape was peeling off like there was a ghost down here or something um so hopefully that doesn't fall off during a stream but uh, i was kind of hoping to be honest that rory would be able to catch the stream tonight um so that he could see wrong hand so that he could see the poster up here but um I guess he'll catch it on the archive or something. So, um, so yeah. So let's see what else is going on here. Um, the neighborhood watch sign. Yeah. So that's, um, that's the drug buyers beware sign. Uh, it's from the city of San Fran. Sorry. Uh, that's from the city of San Francisco. It just says drug buyers beware. Cause you know, uh, people are watching you or whatever. Uh, I got that. I'm sure at some point that was stolen. But I got it at a yard sale for 50 cents, which I thought was a pretty good uh, expenditure of 50 cents. So, uh, oh, Lacey Starr, that, you're Mike McFly's wife. That's awesome, man. Thanks for being so cool. Well, thank you guys for being uh, so cool. Uh, your husband's an awesome dude. So I'm um, glad to have him as, as, you know, part of the CGQ family. And, uh, oh, Mario just barely squeaked in. So, um, so that's awesome. Uh, so let me scroll down here. Smoke monsters drinking tea. That's pretty cool. Um, Rob Odell's SoundCloud is messed up. Okay, well, just send me a link or a tweet whenever it's not messed up. I just be curious. Like now that I'm all into keyboards, and I want to hear other people playing the keyboard. So, um, uh, Derek, you loved how I described the dark turn. Yeah, it was it was pretty. I had I had a lot of fun with that video. You know, things take a dark turn. You know. Um, cause what the whole setup, right. Is that all your instructors got kidnapped and then you have to go rescue them. Ah, oh, Dave blade guns here. Um, well, it's got DVR functionality, so you can still right now, if you want, I mean, you could, you can rewind and start playing the first part of the, um, stream, but then it's not live, I guess. So, and then Matthew says, anyone get the new Mario maker? I did. I, I pre-ordered it. So I got it the day it came out, which was last Friday. I still haven't even unsealed it because I'm using my Switch to play Final Fantasy VII anyway. Um, I mostly bought it for my wife to play, but then I'm, I'm using my Switch to play Final Fantasy VII. So uh, Switch is not currently available uh, for people. I always forget to turn off my PVM, so I'll turn that off. Um, what else we got here? Hate how it jumps like that. Where uh, Nebdoza can't wait for the next live stream. Try for at least once a month. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do. I mean, once a month is not too much to ask. Although, like I said before, in case you missed it, I'm doing a stream Monday night, six days from now. Classic Gaming Quarterly sixth anniversary, sixth anniversary live stream. So um, don't miss that. Um, we're gonna play. Like I said, we're gonna. I haven't. I haven't made the list yet, so I'm not sure. We're gonna play some of the games that I covered early in the show, like. Uh, across different systems. So like TNC surf designs on the NES, uh, operation logic bomb on the super Nintendo, maybe some doom on the PlayStation. I got to go back and see what some of those early videos, what I covered, but so I'm going to be like switching systems and having to like make you guys wait while I unplug something and plug something else in. Uh, you know, so it, I, it'll be a interesting thing to watch. I suppose, uh, Derek says, is pilot wing still dirt cheap? I, I hope so. I think I bought this copy, 
because I needed it for the, the launch episode. And I think I paid five bucks for it. So, um, uh, it should be pretty, uh, pretty cheap. What is YouTube says, where do you get these signs from? I don't know, man, just various places. Like I said, I got, uh, that sign came from a yard sale, the Finnish sign I got in Finland and these beer signs like the, the Sierra, which way do I need to, this is really freaking me out. Uh, the Sierra Nevada sign I got, my wife picked it up for me. I think at the Sierra Nevada brewery, this new Belgian brewing sign I got at an antique, uh, store. Like that's actually like, uh, a really good quality sign. This one's just like a thin tin sign that's not very nice, but looks nice on the wall. That one's nice. And then, yeah, the Anchor Steam one there, uh, that's just another thin tin one that I got at the Anchor Steam Brewery in San Francisco. So I don't, I just like signs. Like you can always hang signs on the wall. And then have you seen, uh, I don't know if it's ever been visible on a live stream, but over there, right there, is like an original fallout shelter sign from like the 60s or something or 70s. Uh, you can still buy those on eBay for pretty cheap. And uh, I mean, I'm in a basement, so if that's not a fallout shelter, what is? Um, and so I had to get one of those. But I mean, it was like 20, 20 bucks or something, and it's vintage. Like there's some guy in Hawaii that has like a huge stack of them that he must have bought, you know, government surplus or something. Uh, Josh said, you think I had an excellent stream? Yeah, I think it was a pretty good stream. I'm pretty proud of it. Sometimes I do streams and I'm like, yeah, that wasn't a very good one, but, uh, I definitely had fun. And the fact that I haven't done one in two months really made me, uh, miss it. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. And then Gary says, God damn it. It keeps jumping around. Sorry, Gary. Hold on. Stay with me. I watch your videos a lot. And other YouTubers who are into gaming is background noise. Yeah. Uh, YouTube videos make excellent background noise. I agree. Uh, while you test and clean stuff. So that's pretty cool. For your retro video game business. Do you have like a story to sell online? That's pretty cool. Um, and thank, I'm glad you missed the content. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm here to give you some new content. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, oh no, Truth Hurts is back. Yeah. Um, it's no big deal but when you, you know, when you put a bunch of curse words into a thing, then it, it automatically gets filtered out. So um, uh, I just deleted it. But if it makes you feel better, Truth Hurts, Ryan got to, you know, like I said, he got to pop his banhammer cherry on you. So uh, you guys will always have that together. And then, uh, yeah, Josh says six years. Yeah, I can't believe it's been six years, honestly, um, since I started the show. That, that was a fast six years. I was only 36 when I started the show. And people were telling me, you know, I would mention how old I was in like one of the um, intros like I remember, I did the the PlayStation uh, launch episode, and I mentioned how you know I was eighteen when it came out. People were like, "Oh, I can't believe you were eighteen. You don't look old enough," you know. But I, if you go back and watch that video, I had like zero, zero. zero see, I'm doing it again. I had no gray hair uh, in my beard, and now I have lots. So I uh, probably don't look quite as young as I used to, but uh, it's okay. Um, Yeah, smoke, it's because usually I'm sitting in front of them, so you can't really see them. But I I, I got to block something because I got to sit in the frame too. So, um, Oh, yeah, Mike said ex I, explosive diarrhea was one of my first. I was very proud of that video um, when I made it. So um, it was it was silly, but um, it was fun. Yeah. Um, I mean, we could, I, I mean, I, like I said, I'm going to play a bunch of different ones. Like we could play some explosive diarrhea. It'll only be for a few minutes, I guess. But, uh, so yeah, and sorry, Anthony just got here and Akil just got here. Sorry, man. But I mean, at least you're, at least you're here now. So, um, yeah. And then Morpheus it keeps jumping out. Um, Morpheus says, do you ever think about keeping your channels from going stale and think of ways to keep the content fresh or ways to reinvent your channels? No, I mean, I don't think I really need to do that. Like, I think that things like the launch videos and stuff, they still do really well. The problem is just that I can't upload them often enough. So, I mean, the magazine read-throughs are kind of a way to bridge the gap between the big episodes. But now uh, it's gotten to the point where even um, even those are, are, they take a long time to make. Like, when I, if you go look at, like, the first couple of magazine read-throughs, it was just literally me reading a magazine. And, like, that's it. And then the minute that I decided I was going to show gameplay footage, 
like that changed everything because now that's probably the biggest time sink that goes into um to making those uh videos is is having to sit down and uh record all that gameplay footage and then then I have to go find the cover art for all the games and and you know put in all the data in the little lower thirds graph it, it turned it into a thing now that takes a really long time so unfortunately because of that I can't even upload those very often so um it's kind of frustrating but um uh but that's okay uh, I still enjoy making them so that's what uh matters um gray haired in the beard is a sign of art. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. It's not like I'm going to start using just for men or something. I'm just saying I, I don't think I hide my age as well uh, as I used to, but I mean, that's all right. Um, Oregon Trail. Yeah, we could play. If we're going to play Oregon Trail, though, like I can't. Um, that's like too many things to hook up. That makes me just think that maybe we should just use the mister um, for the anniversary stream because then I could just play everything. Uh uh, hey, Yura is here. Uh, that is who you can all thank for uh, all of my overlays is uh, Yura Sensei made all of them. So uh, I don't think I've ever... You always watch these things after uh, I'm done with them. You always watch the archive. So it's so nice that you're here. So I can say thank you for um, all of the... All three of the overlays took a, took a really, uh, you know, idea that I had that, you know was very poorly executed, uh, which was this, like my original overlay was like this overlay, but a much, much crappier looking version. And Yura made me this one, which looks a lot nicer. And then I was able to get the modern gaming one and the classic computer one, although I would not let Yura make it for me uh, without payment. So uh, payment was taken, I think, uh, begrudgingly, but um, yeah. So thank you again. Uh, Derek says the fallout sign, uh, the government used to make pamphlets, how to convert your basement to a bomb fall. Yeah. There's actually somebody who lives here in, in my town who actually has a legit fallout shelter uh, as a basement in their house. Like it has the, the turns in it. You go, you go down the stairs and then there's a turn and another turn so that the radiation can't get you or something. Um, but, uh, the government had so many of those, uh, signs because they were basically putting it on like any building that um had a basement so uh and i guess they they printed more signs than there are buildings with basements in the u.s i don't know that doesn't um sound like that would make sense but uh that's what happened so uh and then i think i'm all caught up here so um oh chicken fingers is here what's up dude uh what did you miss Uh, i mean we played i played a bunch of games poorly and on the super nintendo and pretty much that's what you missed uh, although, I mean, you did miss uh, seeing uh, uh, Gradius 3 with no slowdown. So uh, that's worth seeing. Although I'm sure other people have done videos of that, so you don't have to watch me do it. But, um, oh yeah, we broke both of our legs. Uh, not landing very well in pilot wings. Um, that was uh, that was pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what what happened tonight. And uh, oh, I have one sip of Kool Aid left. Nice. Um, underground bunkers in the hills that would be cool. So anyway, um, things are winding down, I guess. So uh, I think we're going to go ahead and say goodnight for tonight. And um, you know, I will go ahead and uh, uh, schedule the next live stream. I'll probably not schedule it till Monday morning. I don't like scheduling it too early because I think people find that confusing because you have this thing in your subscription feed, but it's something you can't watch. So like, like, cause I'll see that too. Like, you know, somebody else is, is scheduling a stream and I I go to click on it and I realize it hasn't started yet. So, um, so yeah. And, uh, Morpheus was saying it's a, it's a software hack, not a hardware hack. So you can just get a ROM. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's it. So I'll say good night. Um, you, I, I guess I could post the, um, is that there? Yeah. So here's the discord link one more time for anybody that didn't get it. Um, so if you want to continue chatting with people, uh, click on that. And, and if you're not signed up for discord, I mean, it's free. So, uh, and then you can come hang out like most of the live stream regulars, uh, also hang out in the discord. So, and it's pretty lively conversation. So it's, 
it's one of the lively, it, you know, I'm a member of like 10 discord servers and I think mine is maybe not the most active, but one of the most active. So, um, so thank you very much to everybody for hanging out and, uh, I will see you again in six days. Although also if you're not, uh, if you're not a patron, then on Friday, you're going to get a new flashback episode. So then you'll see me on Friday, but I won't see you. Or if you are a patron, then you can just watch that right now. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, thanks for, uh, hanging out and I'll see you guys all again very soon.